get a draw. Uh, even so Mont's blood. Mont was Mont was screaming. The king is back. The king is back. This is The king is back. This is Anfield. Matthew, this is Anfield. This is Anfield. Guys, who's about to start the first little thing with Mont? By the way, I like. I saw do the walk. Saw do the walk off. This is Anfield. This is Anfield. Just walking up and down his room for nothing. I'm sorry, Mont. I apologize. I apologize. I do not call Simon oh. Slander. Big up, Mont. Ciao, Mont. I can't do it. This is Anfield. Oh, do you want this is Anfield? You know what I'm saying? What's going on, people? Troops TV. Back again. Back at Blood Clark again, Blood. You understand? The true king is back. That, that's me, blood, yeah? I, I'm the king, blood, yeah? You understand? There's only one king around here, blood, yeah? Top of the blood clot league, yeah? Looking down on everyone. Pause. Come here, only look punk. Me only look down upon Gyal. You understand? But episode 209, I believe it is, of Back Again. Now, as you can see, there's no Zaza this ep. Um... That's my fault, you understand? Well, it's not my fault, you get me? It was my idea, you understand? Because what happened this weekend, it, it just, I had to just, nah, it just, this, this, this had to be the panel, blood, you get me? So, we have the energy drink cup winner who somehow believes he has won, I don't know, back-to-back -back Premier Leagues, back-to-back -back Champions Leagues in, in, in the same you get me season blood, you understand? Do, doing un, 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 unseen things. You get me? Cass, you said that you're going to come with trophy talk yesterday to me. And yeah. Yeah, man. Team... Hey, look, we speak fluent trophy around it. You know what the best part is? It's like all of our clubs has got somewhat some form of trophy. So if you support Tottenham or below Newcastle, you might have won the Trafalgar Square Cup, but we won the cup in Wembley. All I'm saying, I speak fluent trophy again. And it's it's good to learn the language because it feels good. I don't know why you're looking once. Uh, you know, this is not Anfield. This is Wembley. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we scream around there. Yeah? You know what I mean? Lewis, hold that one. You might need to go, Um, you know, moisturise a little bit because... We're, 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 we're finished. We're already done. You know what I mean? Like, Graham Potter and that. Loving it. You know, good life, man. I, I, I thought I'd wear blue today in respect for Graham Potter because I think he's doing a fantastic job. And obviously, big up fresh ego, kid. Months, you're back again from Paris, blood. It's good to see you safely back in the country, blood. But you never brought nothing in the in the. There was nothing to declare, blood. No, no win to declare, bro. You get me? You walked through the um. I forgot the sign, blood, because I ain't even been on a holiday for like a month, blood. You know the nothing to declare, blood. You went through that lane, blood. You understand? You had nothing to declare. You get me? Oh, you get me? You never shit. Didn't have to. Didn't even, didn't 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 even have to show man your passport, blood. You just walked straight through, blood. So. What's good, my brother? How are you feeling? You get you, you, you don't look good, you understand? You're on mute, bro. You see, look, he's on mute, blood. That's you see, look, he's just he's you what I'm saying, man. Man, turn into you, you, you uh, see, like, he's, he, man left his voice in, man left his voice over talking. there as well, blood. Did you bring your voice French. back, blood? I was talking French, I was talking French, but listen, no, no, no seriously, obviously, it was, a, it was a good holiday, and I actually watched the game, um, in the hotel, and I nearly fell asleep. Because I'm tired of this bum and his tactics at the moment. Like, it's just, it's just, it's just pissing me off more and more. But we'll get into that. But yeah, um, I'm just glad to be back. I yes, I tuned in to you man laughing at me for about five minutes straight. No, no, no dialogue. These man were just creasing. These man all have six packs now. That's how I'm, I'm like, you know, like, you know, like, man, man, man getting hench off of laughing at me. Man, I get a laugh. What got hench at me when I celebrated that goal? Hey, what got hench at me when, I, when I celebrated that you, goal? Yeah. Hey, you know, Edmonds, thanks to you, I made that video of you and the others celebrating. <laughs> it went on Bleacher Report. Hey, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Jetski, drop that video now. Push him. Push him. Don't let him bring that down. Yeah, go. Oh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is our field! He's smelting! This is our field! This is our field! Yeah! This Come is our on! Field. This is our field! I can't oh, hear man. them! I said the king is back! I said the king is... I said the king is back! I 
I told you he's black. You want to hear me? He snuffed it. Oh my god. He snuffed oh my it. God. Oh my god. Come on. Yes. You you asked me, did I want it earlier? I said no. Now nah, fuck it. You know what? It's in now, blood. Yeah. How does it feel? Yeah. It's what's what's that beer? Or is that the Carabao um, drink, blood? I don't even know, cuz. It's bleach. Lewis. <laughs> bleach. <laughs> bleach. It's bleach, bro. Bleach. You need more than bleach, dog. You understand? Man, man want to turn into Vibes Cartel. Gaza with set. Lewis. Brother. Three point lane is no longer that, my G. You get me? You're still drinking that mug? I've got nothing left. I've got nothing left. Manzi, you're going to lose. No. Manta. <laughs> This is bleach, by the way. This is bleach. This isn't coffee. So, Mark, so drink it, drink it. <laughs> hey, Lewis, what happened yeah. to um, oh. what, Lewis? Really, just what, what happened to um? Oh, it could be worse. You could be Liverpool. What happened to that? What happened to that? Wait, when did I say that? Did I say no. that? Just I'll ask you a question because that, that was like the consensus around the Chelsea camp. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's always one worse. Camp. <laughs> that wasn't the consensus of me. I want 40 points, and we can't even get 40 points. We might actually be in a relegation scrap in three weeks. It's that deep. We lose to Everton, lose to Leeds. We're in that relegation fight, and I don't know if we're getting back out of it with the fixtures that we have. That's where my football club is. Wait, can you can you tell me the fixtures, please? Yeah, before we um, get into someone who is not in a relegation scrap, what are those fixtures quickly? Right, so we've got Everton, Leeds, and I think um, we got. Let me let me get up quickly. It's, it's the last couple games of the season that are the big issue for us because we've got to go to Old Trafford, we've got to go to the Etihad, we've got to go to the Emirates. Right now, we've had Southampton, West Ham, we've got Leeds and Leicester and Everton, and we can't win any of those games. Everton where? Everton at the bridge. Villa at the bridge. And then after that, we've got Liverpool, we've got Brighton, we've got United, we've got Brentford, we've got you lot, Arsenal, we've got City and Newcastle, our last two games of the season. <laughs> He's looking like a relegation with Wolves. <laughs> We're in a relegation scrap, my friend. We are genuinely in a relegation scrap. They're going to keep Potter till the end of the season and that fucker can't even, can't coach a draw, let alone coach a win. Mm. Someone who idiot. can... Someone who can coach a win. Mikel Arteta, blood. You understand? People would have thought maybe Zar was not here because Nketiah got dropped on his face, blood. You understand? He did not get dropped on his face. He got dropped on the bench and he landed safely, blood. You understand? Arsenal travelled up to Leicester City looking for the win on a Saturday afternoon. We all follow the Arsenal over land and sea. Hey, Leicester! Get me? Less than nil. Arsenal won. They tried to rub us again. They tried to pull our pants down again. Pause. Cody Gunn pulled down my pants. Ain't no referee pulling down my blood clot pants. And man not wear pants furthermore. Man wears boxers. Just no. But they tried to rub us again. They don't know that we roll with it, blood. Man's really with it, bro. You understand? This ain't for show, blood. This is not for show, blood. This is a cannon. And you'll get blown off, blood. Man, I'm blowing off doors, fam. Moving like Babylon. Fuck Babylon, but man, I'm moving like Babylon, blood. You understand? Leandro Trossard was put in the team ahead of Eddie and Ketia. I've been calling for this for weeks on end because I've just seen pure static in my front line, blood. On Saturday, I saw movement, blood. You understand? It was like me in a bashment rave with my gal. I just got her bent over, fling up on the wall. I'm doing my thing, blood. Only per rhythm in these hips, bro. Shout out Shakira on that one. But the fuckery again, blood. You understand? Saka. For me, yeah, you see the, you see the Ben White goal, yeah? Now, the way I look at it is with the... Because we had that same incident... Um, earlier in the season when the goal was given against us. Ramsdale was held back by an Aston Villa player. It was either Watkins or Mings. It was a light-skinned Don, so it could have been Ramsey as well. Douglas Louise has put in the ball and it's gone straight in. They've given the goal. It's gone to VAR. They said it's not enough. I believe that goal shouldn't have stood. And the Ben White one, I know that it goes to Xhaka, that Xhaka has to win it. He has to then control it, play it to Trossard. Trossard has to then push himself across because it's not like an instant 
the keeper fluffs it and then it's bang straight in. It's literally like the third, there's like two phases of play before it gets to Trossard when he absolutely, you know what I mean, put man in a, in a grave blood. He put man in a spliff blood. He put man six foot deep with that finish, bro. But I do believe the goal shouldn't have stood because if Ben White doesn't hold the keeper's hand, then he can go with two hands and probably get a better clearance on it. You get me? So I have no issue with that. Do you lot think that was the right decision, though? Because I've seen mixed um, reviews coming out from the pundits and the fans as well online. It's a foul, G. Let's call it for it. It's a foul, bro. Like, he did have his arm locked and loaded. It was cheeky. He nearly got away with it as well. Because Because you saw after, like, when when the goal disallowed, you saw Benny Blanco, like, how the fuck did they see that? Yeah, yeah. He was surprised they clocked it. There was another player next to him. If someone covered that area, it would, be, it would have been smart. <laughs> it would he have could have bust case. Player could, yeah, he could have bust case. But no, nah, it's, it's a, call it for what it is. It's a foul. What we don't want to call, what we don't really call out is the inconsistencies of refereeing in this country, innit? And they don't like to hear it because if you say side, you get fined. And and that's it. There's been bare inconsistency for actually probably all of our teams this season. Man United should have had bare penalties this year. We haven't been given... It was only until later this year in January where we got finally got given a penalty for the first time this season. You know, and it was already like two two new up at that point. I can't remember who it was against. I think it was even then Palace. So um, that was another game. Le- Liverpool been bumped this season. I think they've even been given some bumps, like Newcastle versus Liverpool as well. Like it's it's just bare of it. It's too over the game. You know what it is? It's the it's the lack of communication from the refereeing board or whatever it is during a game to actual the fans on the pitch or even watching at home. You don't hear what they say in the referees and stuff like that. So you see that in the NFL that you hear what the referee's chatting about. In rugby, same thing. You hear when it goes to the VAR. NBA, same thing. It's only football that has VAR, but the fans have no clue what's going on. Even the managers are sitting there like, yo, what's going on? And it's like, Chelsea are starving, man. Like Marcus Rashford, feed Chelsea, man. Because, you know, it's like against West Ham with a handball. You remember the handball? Right at the end against West Ham. <laughs> Should have been a penalty. You know? Suit you <laughs> team. Man, <I> was like... <laughs> Yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> you lot, <laughs> Chelsea, man. <laughs> we need everything. I think Rashford's got more goals than our football club. He does. He does. <laughs> Him as well, not just Harlem. Yeah, yeah. There's now Rashford. Too. Jesus Christ! Got twenty-five. Got twenty-four. We're finished, bro. We're finished. Chelsea got what months? We got twenty-four. Uh, <laughs> 20- Chelsea <laughs> got what, man? <laughs> they got twenty-four goals, man. Oh my days! <laughs> oh, oh shit, we got one more. Let's go. I thought it was only twenty-three. No, no, no. You know what? You got, oh my no, god! No, no, you know, Virginia has got more wins than you. Got, you got twenty-three. Wins. Sorry, you got twenty-three. Yeah. You got twenty-three. Oh <laughs> shit! Oh, we don't even have twenty-four. All right, cool. Jesus oh Christ. my lord! Uh, Marcus Rashford, what beats twenty-five goals a season? You know, Leeds have more goals than you. West Ham got the same amount of goals Jesus. as you. No, no, West, no, 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 West, 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 yeah, West Ham got the same amount of goals. Leicester got way more goals than you. Man. Yo, you man, like, Leicester been struggling for yeah, two weeks. It's only the last couple of weeks when Leicester. Oh, wait, have you only just realised? I'm not saying yeah. season. Man. Leicester got four goals against Aston Villa and Tottenham. Yeah, no, that's where they got their goals up. Like, you man are proper cheap. Uh, like, four goals in the game. I remember that feeling. What, what is twenty-three goals? What is twenty-three goals? You know no, how low that is. Seriously, that. Like, that's Come shock, on, yes. That is but, shock. Like, how many goals? Like, what? We've we, how many fucking goals have we got? Bro? Because we've got to. No one needs to know. Bro, we must have. Have. No one needs to know how many goals you man have got. You got a lot of goals, right? You got a lot of goals. How many goals you have we got? got blood. You got more 50, than us. You got fifty-two. You got fifty-two. <laughs> how about this? Arsenal okay, we got 50, 52. fifty-two. Yeah, we've conceded the amount of goals that you've scored. Yeah. <laughs> fucking hell. Take that in. Arsenal have conceded the same amount of goals that Chelsea have scored at this point in the season. Meanwhile, what do we do with our best finisher? We bring him off the bench at 2-0 down with 10 minutes left. Because, yeah, Opa's going to do something with that, isn't he? Looking straight. Definitely going to do something with that. No. I was looking like Abadol. I can't lie. I was looking like Abadol when the, the Saka penalty wasn't given blood. You understand? That is an absolute... Catastrophe, bro. Man, can no one can tell me on this panel that that's, that's not a fucking penalty, blood. No one. The sack. The sack. No. One. You know what? You know, no man. This thing is what is that against Leicester? The like, man literally clamps him, blood. He has Saka clamp, bro. Like he's trying to take Saka home, blood. Like you saw Saka's gal was was at was, was in Qatar, blood. D- does he not know, blood? Like I, I, don't, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even see it. You know, 
I didn't even see it, you know. I watched the game as well, and I'm thinking, I, I, I don't remember it until someone brought it up on Twitter, like, thinking, oh, this should be an attack of I'm like, where? I don't remember this. Mm -hmm. But they were bad. You, I, I heard... That uh, was at nil-nil, bro. Both of these oh, happened at nil-nil. This is before we took the lead. Because this is... Both of the decision happened in the first half. But you know what? Let's not get it twisted, though, yeah. Let, like, Martin, he might go go, but let's not... Let's not believe that he had a great game because he never... Who, Martinelli? No, I'll tell yeah. you straight now. The first half, I was at a point where I... When, when half time came, so like, all right, so cool. First 30 minutes, whole team was on smoke. Whole team. The transition from defence to attack was lightning. Martinelli was beating his man, pause. He was interchanging with Trossard. Trossard was coming into the, into the, into the left position. Martinelli would be in the nine. Saka was, wasn't really involved. I'm not going to lie, because it was more down the left-hand side. Xhaka was playing better as well. Zinchenko was going more down the left. He was inverting, but he was going more down the left. So Martinelli had that support that he hasn't had over recent weeks. When the goal was disallowed, the Trossard screamer, Martinelli fell off. He, he fell off, bro, for the last 15 minutes of the first half. He wouldn't beat his man. He was coming inside. He was doing the, the easy stuff. He, he wasn't beating Martinelli. And then I said to Zaha, yo, Arteta better be telling Martinelli, you got 15 minutes or you're off, blood. Yeah, because right now it's league, league title we're chasing. We can't be, you understand, carrying passengers, bro. We need everyone pulling their way. And then second half, that's the Martinelli that we all know, blood. Within two minutes, bang, go. Terrorising my man, the second half, blood. That's when he came back into the game. You get me? I don't think he was your best player, though. No, Trossard was man of the match, bro. It's man no, crazy. Not even, no, Trossard no, not even for me. clear. Not, not for me, not for me. What are you going to say, Jorginho? <clears throat> yeah, or... You know Jorginho, what? You know was, what? Jorginho was because fantastic. Jorginho was But look at Trossard. Trossard every... got the assist. Trossard got the goal. Trossard was the one that was put in to start. Trossard was the, the one that had the most to prove... Wait, Pardon? He didn't get the goal, Tubes. He didn't get the goal. No, I said he got the assist. He had the goal disallowed. Yeah, so, so he didn't get the goal. So he didn't get the goal. No, but I said he got the goal disallowed, blood. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. That goal should have stood anyway, bro. <laughs> no, no, but then he got an assist. Your team got nothing this week, bro. No <laughs> assist, no goal. goals, I've nothing, blood. Fake, I you understand? Fake David Luiz had a good game. No. <clears throat> Who? Fake David Luiz. He had Who's a good that? game. Who's that? I don't need about phase or whatever his name is. He had a yeah, decent game. Right. I didn't think Trust. I thought after bro, it was that's why I thought came up. You didn't. Now I know you didn't watch the game, blood. You must have just no, watched I didn't highlights. because I thought we had. No, no, no. I you had must have watched highlights. It was because the it first was a half, big, it was the big played. Australian you that was dead. But the whole of them could not handle Trossard. Yes, yeah, could not handle dead, Trossard, man. blood. When Trossard came off, that's when they had their first shot in the game. Seventy second minute, they had no shots until no, the seventy second no man, minute. You, you already knew no man at no party. My no nine year old no don't party. drink alcohol, blood. He had more shots of Ribena in that first half, or should I say, in that seventy two minutes than they had, blood. You understand? Man, they didn't do nothing, bro. We were comfortable, blood. Yeah? Ramsdale didn't even make a save. He didn't make a save the whole game. You understand? After the way that they had you on ropes at nil nil at your ground, blood. Yeah? Yeah, you understand? yeah, yeah. Let's not forget that, blood. Because we got, we got, even at 1 0, even at 1 0, no. until Sancho came on, you were still on ropes. They never had yeah, man on ropes at one guess, point, blood. But, but, but guess what, though? They you had their Madison. They still have Madison and the rest of it. Like, Madison, that's not bro, we, unnoticed. Bro. Man Madison in that thing changes the whole midfield. Bro, they could have had Madison, blood. We never had Partey. No, but What's they, yeah, point, but they could have, yeah, but we never had Partey. Ian Nacho had We never had one, Jesus. Ian Nacho was offside and scored an offside goal, rightfully so, yeah. But well Madison, offside. Can, yeah, well offside, but yeah. Madison, you know what it is? The counterattacks. We know Leicester to be counterattacking, right? Mm. There could have been one counterattack, and the last person you want to be threading through that um, area is mm. Madison. Like, okay, don't then. get me wrong. Old Trafford, we rocked them 3-0. They did have yeah. us on ropes and everything. Mm -hmm. We didn't play Varane. We played Lindelof and all that. Like, we did rotate a touch, a little touch, Garnacho and whatnot. So it was a bit different. But when we went there to Leicester, we only won 1-0 as well. But was it as comfortable kind of as our 1-0? Because we had Saka's goal yeah, just allowed. Le Le Leicester and there's won. another Leicester one. Won. There's another one. The Saka one. goal. There's no lines pull out. Why, why is there no lines? Again, Arsenal. No lines to pull I'm... out. Why is there no line? Okay. You can you it, it, that that is very very close, bro. If you look at the human eye, Martinelli and and and, and Afro Funder, who's playing him on side, it is very close. You need lines drawn, bro. You understand that goal disallowed? Right, wrong for me because there's no <laughs> lines. No, no one's telling me that it's definitely offside because there's no fucking lines, blood. You understand? All the, them and they are sniffing lines. They're not drawing lines, blood. That's no, what they're doing in the VAR room. Nah, it, it was the man, a side, but... 
That's that's what they're doing, blood. <laughs> they must sniff cocaine, you know. I tell man, yo, ganja thing we are dealing with over here, so you know. When I deal with them thing there, you know, my youth. Mm. Big man thing. Because the trust are go, like, all right, cool. But then that one, that, that, that's got a stand, bro. You understand? What, where are the lines? Where is the consistency? We literally got fucked over against Brentford because they didn't pull out the lines. And check on Norgard. Yet again yesterday. Imagine if, imagine if Leicester scored from a set piece. And then I come on this show now and I'm saying this, that. And then man are saying, oh, you're using it as an excuse. But it's not an excuse. It's, it's cold-hearted facts. You understand? Mm. Even in his game, we saw VAR doing stupidness. We're going to touch on that. You understand? With, with the communication that you touched on earlier, Cass. You get me? Mm. Like, Communication's poor. You understand? But respect needs to be put on Arsenal now, blood. You understand? Like, the, the way we went there and won convincingly. We're going into the majority of these games and we're winning convincingly. It's not like we're, oh, yeah. It said 1-0 to the Arsenal, but then... You know what that's saying? The scoreline doesn't tell the story, oh, blood. Oh, that won, was a mauling. You won Pardon? one game. Conv- you won one game convincingly. The, you, the Villa game weren't convincing. Give me one game, bro. We've won most of our games this season convincingly. Oh, we've only hit a bad patch over the last over the six, six games. Oh, nah, 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 nah. The last six. So the last six games we've been shaky to say the least, blood. You yeah. get me? But against Villa, we looked better. And yesterday, yeah. we looked like ourselves. Well, we're not yeah. yesterday, the day before. Uh, uh, what? Truth in the first half against Villa. Villa. Y'all were cheeks. Y'all were cheeks. Let's not... No, that's why I said... No, Villa, we were... No, Villa, we were better. Because we went behind two times, Second came back, won it in the last minute. So we... Yeah, yeah, that's why I said. We were... Yeah, we were better. We, and then, yeah. like, not yesterday. Saturday, we looked like Arsenal of this season. When we went in there... And, and just and just smashed it off the play off the, off the park. Now you got Jay, now you got Jay Z's back. You get me. And, and, and we're and, and the way we are is like well the way Arteta is is he's like I'm not even like rushing him into the thing because I have got a question for you. The ball's actually, moving bro. again. Go I on. got a question for you. Yeah, are you one of them Arsenal fans that think say we should prior should we prioritize either Europa or Premier League? Okay, this is my point of view now. Yeah. Oh, here we go. No, no, no. This is I, I said it already when I went on. Um, when I did that charity show for Robbie on AFTV, if we get United, we go full strength. It's simple as. Because that could affect us in the league. Mind games and whatnot. You get me? We could fall off in the league and think, oh my God, look, da, 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 they've done us. If we get any other team, then we can rotate. We've got enough to rotate as well, blood. That's the thing. We can, we can rotate. We're not going to put in a weakened team. It will be a weakened team, but that team can still go in and do the job. There's not a lot of teams. In January. <clears throat> Say that again. You got, depth in, you got better depth in January, isn't it? You feel so me? You can you f- like, we can do that, bro. You get me? Like, look, Zinchenko goes out. Okay, Tierney comes in. Ben White goes out. Okay, Tommy Asu comes in. It's not that bad, bro. We're all right, blood. Well, you know you what understand? I'm saying about prioritizing? Like, Partey, Are you... like, like, look, Partey will be back. So then Jorginho plays. That's calm. Like, Are you are you not sure you want to not go for both of them? Go for both trophies, G. I want both. Obviously, I want both. I want every trophy. There should should not be no prioritization. They'll be like, no, you know what it is? Both of them trophies. Do you know what it is? When you're in the position that we're in right now in the league, it's like this. If if City were to fall off in the Premier League, they would prioritize the Champions League. They are prioritizing Mm -hmm. the Champions League. If you say to City fans right now, what would you rather win? Would you rather go for the for the for the free peat and emulate what Fergie did and be the first team to do it since that since them team, or do you want what you would sell your soul for, the Champions League? They're going to Champions League, bro. Do you understand? If you say to me, Premier League or the Europa, I want both. But if you have to say, okay, cool, we got I don't know. Let's say we got fucking. Let's say we got um City. No, because no, we play City on the midweek. So let's say we got Chelsea on the weekend, but then we got a Europa League tie on the Thursday. Chelsea is a more important game because that's the league. And the position we are in the league, we have to prioritise that. Same way, if City went into a Champions League midweek game and they're, I don't know, five, six points off us and there's like like a short amount of games to play, Pep will be like, yo, Champions League. Arsenal probably going to kick on and go. The amount of momentum they got, they're going to run on and win the league. We're going to prioritise this now. You understand? You can't really say that, oh, you shouldn't be prioritising. Because it when, it's when you get into that position, when you have that team on the weekend, 
that is a big team. No matter how shit Chelsea are, it's a London derby. They're going to come Emirates and try a thing. We're going to have to have our, our our best team playing so we can put them in a split. You understand? You, you don't need your best team. You don't need your best team. Look at <laughs> nah, bro, we need our best team when we're playing them. When we're playing the big six, I don't care how shit man is this year in the league table. When we play the big six, I need my top 11 players. Well, furthermore, I need my top 16 players, bro. Can't, I've got five on the bench. I can come on, blood. Well, you understand? Six, bro. <laughs> man said he's holding six. I can't even remember last time we scored more than three against you. I can't remember the last oh, time you we won scored. Four. You beat them like 4 2 at some point, didn't you? 4 <laughs> 1 in COVID. You got a staggering two goals this year. Bro, I yeah. can't remember the last time we scored, let alone like the last time you man scored Wait, four goals. John Felix against West Ham. I remember <laughs> the last time we scored. Goals are coming goals. so rare, they come special. West Ham, John Felix. Enzo Fernandez assist. Yeah, you man have got one. Yeah, you yeah, man have scored. John Felix, automatic goal in the month winner by default. <laughs> Big up, my guy. <laughs> some academy, academy goals in there. Maybe some academy nomination. Yeah. Yeah, 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 to be fair, maybe Chelsea women could also take yeah, the awards. Yes, in top, top hey, but, 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 but months, hey, months, are you still getting top four that you was claiming? Sorry, what? You know what? That's the perfect, that's Sorry, the what? perfect, that is, Cass, you're a G. That's the perfect yeah. segue, yeah? Because mm. Arsenal, top of the league, you get me, done what we done. Gabby Martinelli, two and two, he's back again. Arsenal are back again. Partey is back again. Jesus is lurking. Man, be on point, yeah? Because we're about to go on to Super Saiyan level like we were before the World Cup, blood. A team that is nowhere near Super le- Super Saiyan level and could do with some Viagra and, and only for things to get it up, blood. Because right now, it just uh, <laughs> thing just a Bro, flop, dog. Yeah, man ain't even got a semi. My man, man ain't even got a semi. It's just, it's, yeah, man, man, I just... You understand? Man, man, I, just, <laughs> I swear to <laughs> man, man, yeah, man, man, I just... <laughs> Man, I just slumming it in McDonald's blood. You understand? Crystal Palace nil, Liverpool nil. The first time that Klopp hasn't got a victory over the Eagles. You don't even look comfortable in your own ends, months blood. You're in South blood. You don't even look comfortable in your own ends, cuz. What's going on, cuz? Hey, listen, listen, listen. <coughs> Klopp's a bozo. Oh shit. He's a bozo. I'm tired. I'm, I'm exhausted. I nearly fell asleep during the game. We went for Super Saiyan Milnerson in midfield. Turned out to be base for Milnerson. Um, and then we ended up subbing on Harvey Elliott. So we had the we had the we had the um we had the eggs, we had the we had the mash, we had the baked beans. What else did we have? We had the hash browns. It was just a full English breakfast midfield on at half time. Man are subbing on Harley Elliott, right Harvey Elliott, right centre mid. Yeah, I get it. Naby Kate was on the yellow card, but like, it's like draining the season in. You're draining the season in out of the midfield. What little season in there is? Because the midfield don't taste good. It, it's it's. I thought Harvey Elliott was generational. Seasoning. Ma- man said yeah. seasoning, bro. That's salt and black pepper. Yes. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no all purpose on that. You understand? Ain't no we everyday are, seasoning on that. Man ain't even got soya sauce on it. After the midweek, after getting smoked. Five by after after conceding five goals without response, five I expected a demolition job at Palace at Selhurst. I needed something from these men, and these men just walked out with a nil nil. Couldn't even put the ball in the back of the net. I, I, I best I, I bet Klopp is just somewhere in the change room going. Clean <laughs> sheet, guys. Well done, <laughs> <laughs> guys. Good one, good one, guys. Oh, Next one. one. Very <laughs> cool. Yeah. Aspect One point three. closer to safety, oh, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Good and target, all that. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just taking the piss, bro. He's taking the piss. And then on top of that, on top of that, like I don't understand. Like we are, you should have lost that point in that game when when um when Mate hit the bar. Yeah, Elise was down. moving mad. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Like, also like, rattled the bar though. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. How, how can Hendo be on a? How can Hendo be in a yellow? And your thought process is no. Nah, keep him on. Keep him on. We take off Trent, and then we put on Milner right back. You're playing for a draw at Selhurst Park, a ground you've never, ever, not won at. What's going on? We are Origami FC, because we keep fucking folding. It's just not good enough. These men just fold it every... Like, we've never won three games in a row. Third game comes along, we fold. You might love the closet, I like. Just fold it close, I, 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 I'm one thing we do know, Lukonga's playing at his level now. Yeah, Lakonga bossed it, big man. Yeah, me like Lakonga. Oh, Sambi Lakonga. Stretch it. 
Don't say T. He was he was losing the ball in silly positions. Do not stretch it. These men just couldn't. These men couldn't. No, he was very good. It was it was good against you. He was very good. Allow me. Allow me. Yeah, it was very good. Blood. Allow me. Better than your midfield. You said face played good against Arsenal. So, Kaz, you said face played good against Arsenal. He was. He was their better. He was their better. It was their better defender. He was. It was that big you suitor, bro. He was dead food, bro. We got to play long ball against him. He's like six foot seven. Yeah, play long ball. That's calamity, bro. That's Ziggich all over again for Birmingham. Please. You know what I mean? But, but Mons, please, so, please, Mons, you're not off the hook. Right, yeah, carry on, bro. You think you can get top four? Oh, uh, listen, top four is still available. It's still available. What's the so gap you, from you and Tottenham now? And you have two You have two games in hand. And what's the gap? It's nine points. Oh, I can nine tell point. you that one. It's nine so points. And we do still you have play? To play you still have to play Where? Tottenham. Yeah, they got two games. Uh, Anfield. And, 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 and you. Yeah, but no, you're, you're, getting you're, fired by, you're getting fired by Madrid. Like, that was literally... Tottenham on yeah, steroids, bro. Kind of it's, 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 it's Real Madrid. Real Madrid on Tottenham. Yeah, on. You've got Wolves midweek. You've got Wolves midweek and then your other away, away game is actually at Chelsea. Yeah. A proper yeah. mid-off. Again. Yeah, you got... Oh, yeah. Congratulations on the three points, my friend. Congrats. We got you, bro. We got you. No, no. You got, you got, <laughs> so <laughs> you got like to do this thing. I mean, oh, wait, Kaz. Don't we have United? Don't we have you, actually? We got you next. That's your next game. Yeah, they're coming I, to, I, I, they're I, going I, to Anfield. I can... I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> I, 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 Chelsea I, I, actually what? might get a, a W and, and, and I can't wait. You see Mark. You see Mark. Hey, he's rubbing his hands. <laughs> hey, the Why's easy fixture, fam. All right, Mark, see my bugs, man. You can't, I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Let's you see Mark. You see Mark. Mark. Let's be having ya. You see, you see the Liverpool United team. You might not acting like you've won the game already. Hey, hey, this is Anfield. This is Anfield. Ooh. You know what I mean, once? You know them ones there, 12th man. You mean ninth man or something like that? No. See, no, one, I mean... one, one, energy, one energy drink. God, these man. You know that you know the cheap little boost drinks in the I, shop? I, 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 I'm on, on, them ones. You know it's what's like, good you, about that? I found a you. clip. You know what's mad? I found a clip of you. Found a clip of you celebrating that same cup that you want to disregard. No, oh, no, no. I've been doing my homework. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, what, what, don't try it, G. That's one out of the That's four. nice, but but don't try to call it small trophy, this and one trophy, that, da, 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 because that same trophy, no, no, was it not one, you that was over-celebrating? No, 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 you know you was over-celebrating to Daps about the community shield, G. Hold on. Hold on this hold season. On, hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Kaz. Kaz. Oh, the newness is the Kaz. truth. Da, 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 da. I'm lying. So again, now you're, now you're spitting lies. You're spitting, you're, I told you about this. Now you're spitting lies on the street. No, it's not, because you're Daps can back me up, G. All right, you was over-celebrating to Daps on the channel. No, I was celebrate. I was celebrating the fact that Harlan stunk up the gaff. There's two. There's a difference. There is a difference. No. So no. Without, I'm not even going to go into that. Stinking up the gaff now. Yeah, no, of course, of course. Think up with them it beans was more, in the it system. Was more of a just let man, let man them play their game. You lot are stinking out the gaff. Yeah, we are stinking out the gaff. But I'm tired. I'm tired of Cass thinking. You lot are far gas. Anfield, and and we just we're just gonna fold. Yes, we are Origami FC, but this is Man United. That's the Viagra that these man need. All I'm saying, I'm oh. leaving. I'm leaving with something, G. You're leaving with something. That's all I'm saying. Down the way. And also, louder, louder, louder energy drink thing, louder energy drink thing, because again, yours is one in six. It's not like me, where I've won the energy drink. I want, 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 want. Have you won a trophy this year? I want, you can't talk to me. Have you won a trophy? When's the last time you won a trophy? No, we're not going to do that. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, man. You have your time. You have your time. You have your time. You have your time. We, we, we'd come off of an FA, we had an FA Cup final to play, which you also won that. We'd also won every other trophy available within the last two years prior to that slash three years yeah so the differences between me and you you are celebrating obviously you know i know you guys turn the corner but that is one energy drink cup in six years big manchester united it's crazy it's like it's like you know what you are you're tommy fury crying when you fucking beat jake paul yesterday that's what you are bro. oh shit that's what you are i'm deep in it bro what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? You played me. You cost me a month in the final for 26 years. I'm waiting. No, no, no. You cost me a month in the final for 26 years. 26 years. And you are getting overgassed. Mm. Man, I'm overgassed. One, an energy drink cup. The lowest tier of cup. <laughs> 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 I'm just waiting by I'm just waiting by the way. Jake, Jake Paul isn't even a professional fucking boxer. 
My beats are on. <laughs> yes, um, no, wait, wait, wait. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Get your facts right. Get, hey, wait, wait, one sec, one sec, one sec. Get your facts. Hey, Mont, Mont, you can try. You know what? You know what it is. I'm, I'm letting you do your. I'm letting you do your thing, Mont, today at the moment. But let me, let me take, let me, let me take over from that. Mont, let me, let me, let me take over. Mont, I'm gonna take over from that because actually, 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 Jake Paul's actually a professional um, boxer, to believe it or not. But anyways, he is a professional, so you got that fact wrong. Anyways, Mont, you're trying to do this deflection thing. You know what the maddest thing is? You know why I was quiet there and just let him run his jokes. Because right now your club is the joke, you know it, and the pain hurts. You know when the truth hurts when you can't say much here, and then you have to do your deflection thing. Let's talk about this season. This is all you've been talking about since the start of the season. Let's talk about this season. You got more quiet, more quiet to the point you had to stop running your mouth and stop sp spreading bare shit. Let's talk about this season, not last season, because that's what you did to Man United fans. Oh, all you can do is talk about the history, this history, that G. Bro, let's talk about reality. We got a trophy. Them man about to win a trophy. Them man have been about doing a trophy. We won a wait, trophy and maybe another wait, one on top of that. But wait. you, this season, bro, oh, you're oh, just, a, oh. as you said, you're just a full English breakfast, G, with no seasoning. Yeah, wait, That's all hold you on. Got. Wait, back up. Slow down, Jitterberg. Slow down, Jitterberg. Slow down now. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know what I mean? Did you just call me a historian when your major ain't coming in, in 10 years? You're doing up his Nah, 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 nah. Because you, you, you love to run don't the, you love to run the things like, don't call you have me to run it back, but let's talk about now. You know what the funny thing is? This ain't even about Man United. This is about you and I'm Norbert Glock. You stepped in and started talking about the Carabao Cup. You started so again. What yeah, and what? The I was going to use the reverse. Yeah, you but let's keep it no, because you started talking about energy. You start. You started talking about energy drinks and all this kind of stuff there. And I said, but well, that's the same cup that you man was going over. And, and the same you're, thing you're, that you're you were always celebrating last season. The same thing, which I can just go dig up on your tweets and and see you getting gassed. Oh, Matthew, that, did run to your drink fans drink. like no, 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 and lived it like the Champions League. It's fine. Wait, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Truth, guess what? Greg, guess, bro, bro. If, if Kaz wants to go into the archives, then let's go into the archives. Kaz said he only speaks trophy after winning one energy drink cup in six years. I do. I only that? speak fluent trophy. Fluent trophy? <laughs> I only speak fluent trophy. <laughs> <laughs> I speak fluent trophy. That's it. What the fuck is that? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Mons. Hey, Mons. I'm eating good. Mons, I'm eating good. Mons, yeah, yeah. let's... Mons, this ain't about like, months. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, um, I'm gonna take a, a slip out of um, who sounds book. We're talking about your club, not my club. Stop doing the deflecting thing. Let's talk about your club still, Liverpool. We're not onto my club yet. That's all right. you can do. That is true. That's fine. Again, because mm. I'm still waiting for Man United's downfall. G. Right. You know what it's, you know what it's. I'll put it in my memory bank. The fact that you yeah. ain't had a Scooby snack in seven episodes. So you know, I put that in my seat. We'll do that. And what we'll do is we'll talk about Liverpool now. I'll take the know, Scooby right? snack. <laughs> 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 this guy, blood. Sorry, it's coming with one-liners today, you know. Sorry, sorry. Just, I, listen, know. Right, I know. My where team. do you go from months? Where do you? So what? Are you? Are you clocked out now? Because you keep saying you're not, but you keep saying he's a bum. He's pissing you off. Yeah, he's a bum. He's being a. He's he has to a take bum. blame now. He has to take yeah, accountability. There are a like when I got top four. With worse, with worse teams than what you have. Yeah, exactly. When I got to like cup finals with worse teams than you have. This man, I've already said, I'm, the only thing that's keeping me clopping is emotional connection. It's emotional. It's no longer logic. But is, is that being, is, is that like taking a beating? Pause. Like, bro, Mons has been cheated I, on, fam. That's where it is. He's been cheated yeah, on. Yeah. It's a toxic relationship. Right now, you're back. literally. And she's coming back. Do you know what? Like, it's oh, not even that. It's all your fault. Nah, it's nah, 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 nah. It's not even that. Mind. It's not. It's not even that. It's the one when they watch their gal get mashed out in front of them. He's just there, what? and he's nah. just like, all right. Like, like, oh my. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's just, all right. It's, this is what it is. What like, do they call it? Cock hold or something? Yeah, being a yeah. cock. You're yeah. Your clubs are cock blood. Uh, Literally, you might just there watching your watching your team get beat out every week. Pause every uh, weekend. Bro, bro. You go to Europe. Team. You man are like the blood. You you know what you man are. You man are the Jesse that went global because you man are going Europe and holding it now, blood. You oh, man are holding it in the ends. Chelsea. You man are going up north, down I south. Games. I I hey, we're, we're not talking about Chelsea. We're not talking yeah, about Chelsea. That's we're that's not involved. Now, but you went and held five. Chelsea, Chelsea. Look at technically. Watch it now. Technically, Chelsea still have a big. Big chance to go through in the Champions League. You're done. You're finished. You're oh out. God. That pride mm. with the rainbows. You're out. Are we finished? You're finished. 
You ain't scoring four goals. I bet you a million pound. I haven't got a million pound. I bet you a million pound. You don't win. That ain't happening. You finish in Istanbul part two. You ain't got Gerard. You, I mean, there's no I mean, one in that team that's going to bully the team and be like, yo, in the you first get five minutes. If we score in the first five, bro, we, they play a weaker you, team. Bro, we the they gave you a 2 0. Bro, they, you, once you forget, bro, they scored. Four nil, no. They have to win 4 0. And this guy forgets Madrid that's scored five about. without reply. They gave you a two goal score hey, and then scored five know. without reply. I know, I know we're one, done. Two, two, three, but guess four. what, guess what, troops? You said I was one of them, man, right? I'm ready to be hurt again. Yeah? Don't. I'm ready to be hurt again. Yeah? When a man's it's in a love, you can't now. chat to them, bro. When a, man, when a man's in love, you can't chat to them, bro. Man, I'm yeah, like, yo, you're feel, turn. Pain, feel pain. Feel, like, those you don't listen must feel. And if we get smoked again, I'll have to hold that. But right now, I, I, I can't. I, I, I'm so shit, fam. I'm so shit, fam. We ain't doing it going through. Hey, it could be worse. We ain't going through, it could be worse. Fam. I tried. I couldn't. I tried Lewis. to hold that up for five minutes. We ain't going through. <laughs> Lewis right, said you know it. What? It could be worse. I will, I will, I'm not gonna lie. Though. And don't, if you don't, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. I lie. Just, 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 just we'll, we'll play, we'll, let's 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 play make believe for a second, yeah. Let's just say we do actually get four at the burner, but we somehow do the absolute impossible. Like, I would get a young apology or something like that. You like, get oh, a, no, Billy, no, you get the biggest oh, apology pause apologize. that you've ever seen in your life, blood. Yeah, the biggest. Cause it ain't happening. It ain't happening. But you know, but you know what you're doing. You're feeding him hope. Look at his head. Look at him smirking, bro. Man trying to do Adam's family smirk. Yeah, that ain't happening, fam. You know it. Nah, nah, nah. That's that flipping smirk. And then when you turn, he's barling. <laughs> it's that one, blood. When he comes off camera, he go cry. You know, like Friday when he's like, he go cry in the car. He go cry in the car. <laughs> he go cry offline. He go cry offline. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo. One more finish than me when I broke up with my ex of seven years, bruv. All, all laughing, and as soon as I had to get on that train, it's straight face. Bro, hey, listen, it's done. Listen, listen, listen. Just look, just back to Jurgen Klopp, man. Like, there's too many Liverpool fans out there. Yeah, is it out? Keep like they he's keep, out. He's no, no, out. they keep they keep protecting him and saying he's not can't the issue. can't blaming how FSG can, as well, yeah, blood. Like, they're sounding like the Glazers roundup. Like, again, by the way, another great season from the Glazers, from the Glazers to win another trophy, by the way. But listen, it's like, again, I don't I don't get the fact that people can go and blame FSG. Like, they have wristband with the, with the arm tattoo and tape and shin pads to go play. Like, they're going to go score a goal for Liverpool. Like, you still have 11 men. You still have majority of the same players from last season. Yes, you've had injuries, but these men are back. They're bare men that are back. You put man in the attack. Man, I'm talking about, yo, look how fluid the attack is. We didn't score a goal, bro. Allow me. Like, you might keep saying how fluid our attack is. It's so dangerous. It's going to cook. Dolman Nunes has six goals this season. Pascal Grop has six goals this season, bro. Do you want me to list another man? Do you, let me, do you know what? Fuck this. 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 I'm just going to get hot now. Fuck this. Give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. I'm just going to get mm. hot. Cool. Cool. I think that hat might be the man, man, am I telling you about yeah. Nunes hat? Hard, hard. Nunes hat. Da, 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 da. And it's not even just Nunes. Salah's Salah, Salah being a bum as well. Salah is a bum. He's a bum as well. Nunes has the same amount of goals as Ward Prowse. Mm-hmm. Wilfred Zaha, Pascal Grob, Callum Wilson has more, Firmino has more, Odegaard has more, Oli fucking Watkins has more. You get me? Like, and, like Phil Foden has barely played and he has more. James Madison has barely Do played and have has more. Hmm? Do any of our more? players have more? <laughs> He said, "Does any Chelsea players have more?" How about this? How about this? In fact, I'll give you a lot of stat. Cat Havertz has one goal less than Darwin Nunes. How we can't even reach Nunes? Take it in. No, no, no. Take it in. Look at his face. Look at his fucking face. Look at his face. Take it in. The dynamo that man them keep abusing me. You're in my DMs. You're in my mentions about how I'm this and I'm that and I'm too harsh and I'm on tell. You don't support the players. Your your guy has six. League goals one more than Kai Havertz. The fuck? That's our top goal scorer, mm. by the way. <laughs> is that is that this season? Is that yeah. is that six oh, Premier League yeah, goals? Yeah, is yeah. that Premier is that Premier yeah. League goals or overall goals? Prem. Prem. Premier League goals, bro. Oh, That's Prem. 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 But to be fair, where where was he on Sat? Where where was he, on, sat? Where, where, where was he injured, though, um, on Saturday? And, me, and it's not even about him as a direct player. It's about the fact that the fact that he is. That's our level now. That's all is it club though? Because him, look, you got Darwin, but then look what's look what's behind him. Pause. Henderson, fucking Milner, Fabinho, rubbed. Say that? No, you can't say that. Best, best, most chances missed. Yes, you can. Missed. You can't. Why not? 
No, 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 Let me give you, let me give you perfect points. example. He's had, he's had the most shots let me per, per minute in the Premier League. Oh, let shit. Me give you, let me give you something. Right, look, look, look at Man United, yeah? Look at Man United, Rashford. No, no, look at Man United. Look at Man United last season, yeah? Rashford. My team is shit. We stink. We are binge. No, but what? <laughs> we are binge. You can't tell me anything right now. We are binge. I love football <laughs> again, blood. I love this game. <laughs> no, but what, what I'm trying to get across, when you've got a dead midfield, like, like let's say Mc, McFruno, McFred oh. around you or whatever, this is what oh. you get though, isn't it? Oh, I can't lie. I think I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather even McFred wasn't this bad. I can't even lie. Even Nelly no. Lokonga weren't this bad. He took off Trent. You got, he got sick with McFred. He took off Trent, fam. And put me on the right back. Yeah, why did he do that? He He's got an issue with Trent, isn't it? He really does, isn't it? Because he wanted to play for a draw. You know, that's the only reason. That's the only reason. Like, I'm tired, mm. bro. I'm exhausted. Like, th- that. Ugh. I'm looking at these men. I'm thinking, when's the goal coming? Where? 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 Like, the fact that Darwin needs... But is there no... Darwin, but you're saying that, but you don't, you're not really creating a lot, bro. And look at the fucking midfield. We are creating a lot, though. We are we are creating, bro. Man, I'm missing G. Maybe not last game. Maybe not last game because that was it was too. But then it's not good. then it's not Henderson's fault, then is it? You're, head, you're, you're creating a lot. No, no, no. Henderson Trent took a free kick and hit Henderson's head, and it was going in. How about that? Yeah, Henderson's an absolute clown. Let's, let's talk about Cody Gak. Let's talk about Cody Gak. Let's, oh, let's talk about yeah. Cody Gak. Poo, fam. What? He's kind of he missed. He went missing, bro. He went missing. Yeah, again. yeah. Let's not do that. Let's not. He, he was. But no, because after all the hype, Cody Gak went absolutely missing. He got no right. I can't lie. He, done, he went on goal year against Palace and he skied it, bro. He done it in Ketia blood. Like, you know when he just absolutely roofed it into where, into non-existence, fam. You didn't play where cost, That's what he you did. You play where cost. You didn't play where cost, please. No, I, I, I respect it. Vagels has got more trophies than uh, Cody Gakpu. Allow it. And Harry Kane. I wait, 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 wait till we get to your game. I'm, I wait till we get to your game. Well, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I can't wait. That shit, let's, see, let's see, let's see, let's see what, let's see what I Spice and Van, and Van Disney do against him as well, fam. Obviously, Wolf next. Darwin Nunes is no not. Q-tip. It's not looking that. It's not looking like Nunes is going to be fit for the game. Obviously, Jota, Jota's come back now. He still looks a bit rusty, but hopefully, he finds he finds his. Now nah, forget somewhere. that. We'll chat about that a bit later. Clop in or clop out. Why? Bro, I'm still clock in. I said this. I'm still. But you know what it is? I'm not. Yeah. I'm not lay. With, I'm not lay lay with, okay. the, with the criticism. If he's being a bum, I'm gonna call him a bum, bro. If he, if he's tactically inept and he can't adapt to nothing to change and he has to do things one way and one way only, and like then I'm gonna call it out. Man, man, man keep telling me I can understand why he made the sub. If the players are this bad, what can Klopp do? How is his Klopp's fault? Are you man stupid? Are you man idiots? You don't watch football, not you, man. But you know what I'm saying, like that, like, to the farmers. Do you, man? Do you, man, watch the game in detail? Like he feels the players. He's he, he's okay in the tactics. It, like, why can the manager not be held accountable? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, he's yes, he's he's the stepfather, but he ain't the stepfather that stepped up. He has stepped up, but right now it's not good enough. He has till the end of the season. Yeah, right and, now, right now he's on a right now he's doing that weekend dad. Bro, and I don't even trust his talent ID right now because, bro, Edwards ain't there. He ain't there. So when it comes to the talent ID, I'm not even sure about that. Man, I'm like, there's no other manager that can coach. There is, Klopp is not the Messiah. Klopp is not God. He's not Jesus Christ. So it's Savior. only emotion no. that's keeping you from turning against him fully. It's only emotion because you're it's just emotion. saying, there's nothing it's positive emotion. you're saying about Klopp right now, blood. Yeah, it's emotion. Credit in the bank. That's it. It's, it's actually, bank, hey, is it not a bit of a reminder, yeah, of Arsene Wenger in his last 10 years at Arsenal? It's yeah. 2.0 all over again. I've done all said already power. that I see a lot of similarities between Klopp and Wenger. The stubbornness, the the the, the defensive, um, the defense of the board, his his loyalty to to, to players, his he, he's got one way. You don't really have a plan B. I see that with Klopp as well, bro. You get me? He he's got too much faith, like he got too much love, like he just needs to turn even. We was because when we went four four two, we started getting results. But what did we do? Straight to the full nine mm. after the World Cup. Straight back to full nine. Straight back. Yeah, Mo Salah up front was cooking. I can't lie. Mm. Like, I don't, bro. I don't. I don't get. It. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, hopefully, we can go get the win against Wolves. Things will maybe look a, a little bit more positive. But I'm tired of the <laughs> against are, fucking are you confident. Are you even confident Around against Wolves? Be honest. Huh? Are you confident against Wolves? Nope. Okay, move on. Yeah. Okay, move on. <laughs> 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 that pause. 
<laughs> you ain't confident. Yeah, you ain't confident. Lewis, I, you've been sitting here having fun with the man then, but it's it's your time now, bro. You get no, me? We, we don't have to talk about Chelsea. Do we? Yeah, blood, we have to, fam. You, man, have less wins than Jorginho when he, since he has joined Arsenal, blood. Oh, my God. Wait, are you for real? Yeah, on my life. <laughs> Jorginho has won more games at Arsenal than Chelsea Football Club have won. They've scored oh. one goal all month. That is shocking. Mudrick, 100 million, dropped for a big London derby mm. away from home. Aubameyang put on the bench, brought on 80th minute. Absolute disrespect. Graham... <laughs> Graham Potter, Harry fucking Potter. He needs Harry Potter, blood. He needs a fucking wand, mate. Yeah? You understand? Maybe if he had the balls of Lee Gunner, pause. He might actually fucking do something, blood. You get me? But, mm-hmm. Lewis, I, I saw your Potter out uh, vid yesterday. Um, I enjoyed it, blood. Gave it a like. You know what I mean? But <laughs> 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 well, what go on, my brother, man? Your first visit to that shit hole and you don't come out with nothing, blood. Same old crap. Uh, I knew we were going in there for an L anyway. I predicted it all week. 2-0, disappointing afternoon for the Blues. And what did we get? A 2-0. Um, t- Oliver Skip managed to let him have his Bro. first ever goal. For Whatever. But it was just poor tactics, like no style of play, no pattern to play. We actually did well for the first 30 minutes, but that is just typical Chelsea. 30 minutes, bust, and then that's it. Except we can't even finish, so we don't even do that. It's just blue balls, and then we just disappear. Potter's game management doesn't help. His lineup didn't even help anyway. What Kula Bali wasn't even that bad. But like, why you bench Badia Shiel when he's been our second best centre back? I don't know. Why we're we putting Ziyech back into the lineup? I don't know. Havertz has one good appearance off the bench, and he wants to throw him straight back into the lineup and give him another ninety minutes to just do nothing except cardio sessions and high intensity interval training. Nothing else. Then, then the game management was even worse. Like. One nil down, right? You look to your bench, you see the lights of Madweki, you see the lights of Mudrik, you see the lights of Abamyang. Who does he bring on? Mickey Mix Mouse. Him out. <laughs> then it's Zakaria. Man brought on Zakaria and Mount. One nil down. What is that meant to do? Oh my god. Right, Enzo, right, Enzo Fernandez. Right, we gotta talk, yeah, Gio. facts, cats. We gotta talk about Enzo, bro. Fam, I know that you said that because Jorginho's gone, he's there by himself. But this Don is like an Argentine El Nenny. Motherfucker just goes sideways, blood. And he's he is less mobile than Jorginho. Like, fucking hell, blood. You know what happens right, when you don't have a cohesive midfield? Because that is the same thing they said about Jorginho at Chelsea too. That's true. Exactly. Which is why I've been saying I want a Jorginho and Enzo midfield because it is infinitely better. But no, what does our genius manager do? Let's sell our only six to Arsenal. Let's I mean, sell Zakari's our only six. What about, yeah, what about Zakaria? He's, an eight. He's, he's actually he's, he's he's pushing Zakaria at 1 0 down. He's, 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 he's one nil up. Zakaria can play as a six, like yeah. Enzo can play as a six. They're not sixes, they're eights. Zakaria's mm. a good cameo as a six. What? So, Zakaria's actually, every performance I've seen Zakaria starting, he's been good. I, I like he's been all right with some of the game time that you've seen. Yeah, I can't lie. Games, games. But even Zakaria himself has said he is an eight. He's a box to box. He's not a six. Our only six was Jorginho. We sold him to Arsenal. I don't know why we did that, but Enzo's suffering as a result of it. Like Enzo wasn't great in the second half of that game. Could have done a little bit better with the first goal, but he's surrounded by crap. I can see his quality. I know it'll be better with other players around him. The bigger so issue is the manager. Like we said, Ooh, selling to no, no. the poor game management. Mudrick and Abamyang didn't come on until we were 2 0 down. Yeah, and li- literally, minutes. because I'm sitting there, yeah, and I'm like, I'm saying to Trey, because me and Trey are watching, I'm like, bro, I'm not even a Chelsea man. But this guy's actually starting to piss me off the way he's dealing with Abamyang. Like, he's ticked, like, bro, you're 1 0 down. You're, at, you're against Tottenham. Aubameyang has a fantastic record against Tottenham. Yeah? How the fuck are you? The man lived for Arsenal Tottenham, bro. He, I'd literally message him the night before and be like, you know what fucking time it is, bro. And he'd be like, bro, we go to fucking kill. You understand? He, that, that's like, 
You understand? And when he jumps his blood. Havertz every fucking week. Every week I have to watch Havertz stink up the pitch as a number nine when I know Aubameyang's a better finisher. I, and the fact that he came off the bench as well, that says to me he can be on the pitch. Whatever issue there is behind the scenes, it's not that deep that he has to be thrown out the squad because you're now giving him minutes. Why is he not starting? Why is he not coming off the bench early? Why has he not had a start since November? Why was his last appearance against Man City? We brought him on and then took him back off. Yeah, that I was absolutely get, disrespect as well. Now. This right. manager. I'll be real with you, Lewis. No. Is Potter trying to... Sorry, Mots. Is Potter trying to do... Is Potter trying to use Abamyang to kind of assert his authority to show like, okay, cool, you're the probably the you're probably the one with the biggest ego in the club. You're not the biggest player because Thiago Silva's there. But do you think he's trying to use Abamyang to try and set set a set a precedent for next season? Because I can't I see anything else, blood. Like they say he's training good, they say his attitude's good, he ain't turned up late. He's a good, like, he's, he's been a good it, apple. So he's been like a Bamiyang under Emery, where he was perfect, bro. You get me? So what the fuck? So, but that's the thing, though, because, like, all, even if it was PR, all we all Chelsea fans would need to hear is Ob has been an issue behind the scenes. We're taking him out of the squad because we need to focus a little bit more and he's not helping. Everybody would be on his side because Oba has that history behind yep. him. You would believe that. Yep. All we're hearing is Oba is doing nothing wrong. So even from Potter, Potter's mouth, he said Oba is a valued member of the squad and then he left him out of the squad for the Southampton loss last week. So it just makes no sense. I don't understand it at all. They're saying like, um, uh, what was it? The data analysis says Fafana is better than Aubameyang. You don't even start Fafana. So I don't get it. The guy just has a fetish for Kai Havertz. It's like he fancies him or something. Because that guy has to be in every lineup. He has to be in every single lineup. I don't get one game without this dickhead in my squad thinking up the pitch. But that I can't even get a Havertz anymore for that. Because Potter is the one who gives him the minutes. Everything goes right back to the manager. Even though I've said the squad ain't good enough. And the squad still isn't good enough. We do still need to get rid of about nine players in the summer. Mm -hmm. But Potter is not the guy to take us forward. And the more things the more things continue because the board are not going to get rid of him. They're going to keep him till the end of the season. I don't know where we're finishing. We could be in a relegation scrap by the end of the season. We genuinely could. Because this is the winnable run of games and we're not winning anything. When it comes to April and May and we're playing teams above us, and by the way, we haven't beaten a single team above us this season, that's when it's going to get really tough. And if we haven't got the points now against the teams that we're meant to be beating, it's going to get even worse when they start catching up on us because we can't buy a win to save our lives. Now I heard there so was I now I heard there was crisis talks held again, but I heard that the board are still in support of Potter. But Sean Dyche has more wins or has the same amount of wins as he has in Sean Dyche has two wins in five games. Potter has two wins in seventeen games. Mm -hmm. the, the the Southampton manager had two wins in 15 and was sacked. Is Todd Bowley really going to stick with this man or is he going to just keep feeding his own ego? Because if, if he if he sticks with him, I don't mind, innit? But you're going to just keep dropping, blood. Mm -hmm. That's my thing, though. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like it's going to get to a point where Bowley has to. But what is that point? Because how have we not already reached that point? We should have reached that point when we lost the bottom of the table, Southampton. They're saying the next two games is massive for him. Well, yeah, because we got Leeds and that's a blood derby. And then we got Dortmund in the Champions League. When we lose both of them and the season's officially done, are we then going to sack Potter? Or are we going to wait a couple more games so we can lose to Villa, so we can lose to Everton? By the way, Villa are level with us. It's just goal difference that's separating us. <laughs> when we lose to Leeds, they'll be above us and we'll be 11th. Jesus then it'll be Christ. Leicester catching up on us because if we lose that one and Leicester beat us and Leicester win their last game before that, they'll be above us too. See how you're slowly starting to drop down the table? We're getting dragged down into this relegation fight because of this bummy manager and also because... I don't know. It's like they want to just copy the Arteta strip. And it's like, this brother ain't Arteta. They keep referencing Arteta and, and Klopp all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just, not just copy and paste managers and they're the exact same thing. 
Mm. They actually have game plans. They actually have matches where you can look at, even when you were going through your period, like losing 3-0 to Villa. Um, there was games like when you beat United 1-0 at yeah, Old Trafford. Yeah, we beat you 4-1. So you can see something. Yeah. You can see something in spite of that. Yeah. Here, there's nothing. I can't see a pattern of play. I see 11 individuals on the pitch. I see poor game management. And then he'll come into the press conference afterwards and say the boys gave everything. Do the players believe in him? Because I also look at the players and I'm like, are these men playing for him? It always look like they're playing for him, blood. I, I don't can't think see it, man. I imagine my man saying, imagine my man coming out and saying, yeah, lads, let's get going. We have to do this. And then they've been losing. They're like, where's your, put your trophies on the table, fam. Here's mine. Bam, 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 bam. I've Enzo, I've got a World Cup. Even Midsummer Mount, fam. I've got a Champions, Champions League. League. So I've got FA and Cup. Who are you to tell me what I should do on a pitch when you can't even get the best out of the whole squad? I, I think the players have just lost lost it. Reese James, yeah. I watched the highlight. Reese James don't even look like Reese. He don't even want to attack. He looks nah. bored. That Reece physicality, James. that aggression has left his game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I thought Reese had to come back because of the silver injury. Which, by the way, we haven't kept a clean sheet and a single game silver's out for. So we're even doubly fucked without him. No possible. Oh, wait, there's no Thiago Silva now? Nah, he no, got injured in when that fucking arsehole fell on him. First 20 minutes, came that out with an injury, had to come off. Mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, Lewis. I, like, I, don't wish, I don't wish injury on no one. Lewis, I hear, I hear your pain. Nah, facts. I, I get it. I hear your pain, bro. But you said, um, you made one statement that uh, didn't quite sit right with my soul. Um, you said that he's uh, Enzo is surrounded <laughs> by trash, bin juice. I, as as Monts would say, bin juice. You know, um, again, same thing with me. Majority of these players have been able to ball out. We've all seen them ball out. These men just mentioned somebody, they, they, they've done it in a final, bro, in a champs final. You know what I'm saying? There are winners in your squad. They are Jorginho. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. listen, but Jorginho is not the be all and end all of Chelsea Football Club. You know what I'm saying? So According Enzo's to Lewis, has, since he's gone, no. they said they said that they said I'm that he was the problem. He's I'm gone exactly. and they've got worse. Exactly. Yeah. I understand the Four years ago, for four years, he's been our biggest problem, apparently. Now he's the one thing holding us back. Bro, as I, said, I, I speak, mm. bro, I, I look personally, as I said, I know the manager ain't doing it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not hearing he's got trash around him. Raheem Sterling, five-time Premier League winner. Kai no, he's saying in the midfield. No, in the midfield. Go to the midfield. Oh. Yeah, and by the way, Sterling was our only good forward. Have a Sterling shit, looked good. Bro, wait, wait, it was the pivot yeah. with Loftus. Mid and obviously, Loftus. midfield yeah, like, is Loftus so good, though, bro. Their midfield is bomb. fine. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, fine. Loft maybe Loftus. My man's 27, moving. you know. I call, I call, maybe, listen, we know Lost the Sheik is the, the young prospect that's still, that's 27, the, the Lingard, isn't it? He's one of them, man, isn't it? Yes, cool. But you still mm -hmm. have, like, yeah. I've seen Enzo Fernandez play poorly with Lost the Sheik. And also, it's not poorly, like, when we say poorly, we, we mean light it up, innit? He ain't, he ain't lit up the stage with, um, with, uh, Kovacic. And Kovacic yesterday, uh, last season, was one of the best centimeters in the Prem. Kovacic's been crap all season. Like, and yeah, he's but bro, and, and he's been injured bro. majority of this that's season. That's why all your players. Bro, like mm -hmm. I don't know, like I understand the Gallagher thing because he's cheeks, but with Kova and and Loftus cheek, as I said, it's, when you're coming in for the best, oh, you know. I mean, look, their proper their proper midfielders have been like injured, like can't they? injured, Kovacic injured, he's got rid of of oh, He's living off his smile. He lives off that yeah, smile. He's been, been offered for three years. Like, he could probably still do more than what is going on in the midfield right now alongside the Enzo. But but it, just know he could bring way more to that team. He's not surrounded by shit. I don't know that. He's not. He's not surrounded by shit. I'm sorry, bro. I can't. I can't. What Mount that. shit? Gallagher shit. In the midfield, lost his oh, cheek is shit. And they're the three midfielders that are getting the game time. No, Zakaria yeah, is all say, right, but he like, just come true. Zakaria is all right. About the look at look, look the man that are actually the good is Kovacic and fucking can't he? Yeah, but and they're yeah, injured, but look bro. at look at other midfielders though. Tottenham, Zakaria and Kante. Kova's been too crap this season for me. Yeah, he's been shit as well. Bro, Tottenham have got Hoyerbjerg and Bentico and Bissouma and they're still where they are, yeah. I get it, they got Harry Kane and whatever. But well, that's the way that Conte plays, blood. Oh, yeah, but Joe, down to Newcastle, have, Newcastle have got Joe Linton, a striker in centre mid. Sean Longstaff and obviously Bruno G is, is, a, is a big baller. Similar to Enzo, to be honest. And then you, you, you want to... I'm not hearing How old is Enzo as well? Enzo's a baby, no? We're making excuses yeah, for him. Enzo's 25. 25. No, 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 no. Enzo's 22. We're making excuses for yeah, 100 you have, million you can't, no, but When you're saying the World Cup winner, in that team, he's got man in there who's levels and experience. The only man who's got levels, there's Dude, no one levels in this Chelsea team. Dude, and the only man, 
He's decent. Let's be honest. But, what do you mean? He's got Messi. He's got Dip. Messi. Di Maria. What do you mean? He's got Messi. He's got Di Maria. No, bro, but these, obviously Messi does the free roll. He's got, what's his gone, name? We've um, now gone into attackers. We've now gone into attackers, bro. We, if we're talking attackers, he's still got Stone. No, I'm saying he has experienced players around him. At Chelsea, apart from apart from Thiago, who's, who, who can he really look to and be like, yeah? Cool. No right, one. Cool. Men... Mendy when you look at when you look at the Mendy Argentina and team, it's all around. Have, it's only Kulabali and, and him. Mendy and both won international um, trophies. I'm not saying Mendy's anything special. He's still got um, Chilwell and Reese James, who are definitely great prospects. You um, who else is there? Um, Chilwell don't even play. Sterling has won multiple trophies in the Prem. Um, Sterling well, don't play. And then all these yeah, men you name it. don't play. Chilwell been Felix injured. Got, Reece has been Felix injured. has worked under Diego Simeone. Like, out of all people, you could definitely instill some sort of mentality into somebody. I'm just saying, there's some... And you've got Kovacic, who's been with Croatia there and then. Is that, and so, the then it's the so then it's the manager. Kante as well. Kante's because they won the World Cup in that, G. They must yeah, not no, rate I'm the not manager. Not because it's why can't they it is, It's that. It is that. It's got it, to be that. Yeah, I'm not hearing it, bro. I'm what do you mean? It's, it. it's got to be that, bro. When you look no. around, bro, it's like you, man, as well. You, man... But you see, with you, man, you, man, haven't reimbursed. You, man, never re up. That's why you're slacking now. You understand? When everyone was reloading and, and, and went with me, when the Cali came through, you stayed on Amnesia and Stardog. You understand? You, you stayed there. You didn't move with it. Yeah. The real talk, that's how I'm going to break it down for man. You I mean, you see Chelsea, they jumped on the Cali team. They went and they saw, okay, boom, we're going to try to Lukaku back. We're going to go get Havertz. We're going to try this Werner thing. They tried to jump on the new little flavours. They tried, whereas you man were just like, yeah, we've got this ammo, we've got this Stardog. Yeah, it's, it's like, yeah. Stardog's dead. Ammo's all right. But you understand? You you feel me? With them, well, it's a bit different where they've tried, but now the manager, that's what's fucking them. If Tushar yeah. had these men, they would not be where they are. That's why I, I they would be cooking. Around. I that's can't lie. I, I think they would eventually cook. That, that's why I'm just saying he's not... He, bro, I'm not saying he's surrounded by worldies, but there's enough there for him to look better than what he's looking at right now. And obviously, you know the manager's playing Quidditch on football, so you matter where you are. But at the end of the day, bro, I think Enzo Fernandez, when you have your price tag as well... Like you need to be doing a little bit better um, around certain man. Like, also, I, I hate we have to give him a bit of like me. I yeah, give yeah, man yeah. a little time. I'm not, not even on it straight away. Like I'm not on it. I wouldn't even. Get, I would. I would. I would. You know what? I'm a big fan of Potter. Yeah. But I'm not giving him time. You know what it is? I think someone says, put him into my club and he gave me them results. And I'm not seeing nothing. It's Oli going to soul shout all over again. There's no point. The guy, talks like Dave, the guy talks like David Moyes in interviews, yeah? Now, now he's at a big club because he's not talking like David Moyes like that was at Evan or, or let's say in his case, that Brighton. He's talking next level crap that I don't want to hear. Where my manager, who's on par with Chelsea in terms of like trophies in the past 20 years and all this kind of stuff, talk about... He wants to win. No, we're here to win. He went to the Carabao Cup. I'm not even thinking about Carabao Cup no more. I'm on to the next one, bruv. Graham Potter's talking about next shit that we don't care about. Like, he shouldn't even address. For me, two wins in 17 is sackable. And I get it. It's a big big fee on him and his staff. But he can't handle the job. And there's a collective of players there that are not dead. Look, let's face it. I rinse uh, Mason Mount, in it, But he's not dead food, man. Like, he could still be something in the squad or in and around the squad and do a job that is required. And he's meant to be Mr. Mr. Chelsea in that and all this kind of stuff. I think, ultimately, this is actually your owner's fault. This is all on your owner. Not just Graham Potter, but your owner. But no one's going to talk to Todd B. Oh, you got the tools. It's on Todd B, bro. And it's on Graham Potter that he's just not good enough. Because he's still backing him. I'll get rid of him instantaneously. It was my club. I'll be troops. You'd be screaming out. You're, you know what? If Grandpa was at Arsenal doing the same thing, I'm not even joking. AFTV will be back to what it was doing five years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah, a million True. views every fan cam, but I'm telling every, you, every yeah, bro. Footballers tuning in and everything because mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. now Chelsea fan TV is delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like people are delicious. literally waiting spaces. on Lewis's fan cam. They're like, when are you drop? When are you drop? When are you drop? I've been there, Lewis, blood. Don't worry, blood. You know I've been yeah, there, blood. blood. I've been there, blood. Where man up? Where yeah, is it? Where is it? Bro. And then you hear the, we love you, Arsenal. Where you go? Oh, Arsenal, we love you. <laughs> Arsenal fan TV troops. And they show me man like this. Yes. I'm tired, yes. Robbie. Right. <laughs> I'm tired. Hey, Robbie, I've had enough, blood. I'm tired, I'm tired but I've had enough, blood. <laughs> yeah, that's how he says it. That's how you say it. So, Lewis, I'm tired, Robbie. Enough. This manager is not fucking good. That's how, that's how it's top sound, isn't it? But yeah, Bowley does have to firm a little bit of the L on this one as well. I'm not taking it away from him, but I still back Bowley long term. Yeah, I still believe in what he's building with the team, but he's got to hold it with Potter. He made the wrong decision. 
Now there's a better infrastructure around him. Like, I understand that he's not making these decisions anymore. He's just fell back and he's like, you lot do your thing. You guys are the football heads. But when he sat Tuchel, it was just him and Tuchel. Mm. So it's like, he was in charge. He was a little bit naive in the role. Fair enough. It is what it is. But accept your L. Just say it is what it is. We'll respect you more if you put your hands up and say, I fucked up. Cool. We're going to sack him. We're going to move on. No Chelsea fan's going to look at you and say, oh, we don't trust you now because of this. We'll trust you more. Right now, there's going to be more questions the longer Potter stays. Because, like, how are you watching this shit and you're accepting it? He was at the game yesterday. Mm, he was at the last game can, against though. Southampton. I don't think he can. I heard there's a termination clause in his... I heard there's a termination clause if you don't make Champions League. Statistically, you can't sack him yet because he still can make Champions League. So you can't technically get rid of him because he will have to pay out 60-odd million. That's, so what, that's what I actually think it is. Out of it. I think so. I mm-hmm. think that's what I've heard. The clause is, is literally Champions League football or you can get sacked and then you can walk away and everything's cut that way. And that's what I think it is. So hopefully you do get a few more points and stay within that range. <laughs> yeah, but by then we're going to be in a relegation scrap. That's I team. think there's teams yeah. worse than you still though, man. There's team, you might stink up, but there's teams around you that are just even worse. On paper, yeah. yeah but in terms of the way we play, no. Nope. In our last 15 mm-hmm. games, we're 17th in the form table. Jesus Lewis. Christ. L- Lewis. This uh, is relegation know, form. Lewis, you know the chants, the chants, the Chelsea chants. Do you like hear, is it Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea? Or is it like, we want Potter out? I said, we want Potter out. Where's the troops? We want Potter out. I said, we, is it that one? Is it, is it one of that no, one? No, we're not even. <laughs> no, nah, because when the second goal went in, everyone just went home. That, that yeah, away I end. I saw that. I, they they panned to the away end and you saw a man walking up the stairs. When, when will the balance yeah, everyone just stuff. Like, it's just apathy now. People mm. aren't even angry. They're just just depressing. Is there They're just going emotions. Up. Exactly. Yeah, just meet up with the mates, catch up, have a few drinks, watch a shit game of football, go home and have a few more drinks. That's all it is now. Is there a balance? Like, yeah, Chelsea like, fans, man. They're just going to go I, home, have I, a couple beers, beat up the wife, say, it's all your fault. It's all your fault. And it's not crying. And then, re- and then same thing next week, Saturday. Oh, you know what I'm going to do today? Because we lost. I'm going to go beat up the wife. You know what I mean? Chelsea fans are mad for him. Lewis, <laughs> are, are they banners? Lewis, are they banners? <laughs> no. But nah, they'll drop a Mason Mount banner out Yeah, they'll drop a Mason Mount banner out there. You won't see a Mount banner. I know, I know, I know, you, I, know, I, know a, I know a guy that's got banners in it. Do you know what I'm saying? I know a guy still. So, obviously, if you need, if you let me know in the... Yeah, just, just send um, me the number. Ooh, yeah, me you got my it. number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Les. <laughs> <laughs> right, Lewis, keep the long yeah. Please get out of the way. I didn't even deep that. <laughs> yeah, Lewis, whatever you do, man. <laughs> Lewis, keep your head up, man. I'm trying to arrange power out protests, you know. You can, you can I listen, start, you man will help do. you, bro. I'll help you formulate the plan. I got you, bud. <laughs> I do remember, I do remember, talk to Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to Frank Talk back to in Frank. the day, fam. Blood, I, yeah. know, I know Frank is looking at <laughs> the Frank, like, quit, like, Frank quit when I called him, blood. <laughs> oh, when I rang him, he quit, blood. <laughs> take Lampard at the wheel over this shit. He said, nah, I can't help you on this one, troops, blood. <laughs> you get me? Oh, but oh, good. Chelsea are in the mud. Someone who ain't in the mud, Cass. He got his mm. Carabao Cup. He got his energy drink trophy. His first trophy mm. in six years. Man United 2, Newcastle 0. Let's be real, deserved win by um, the Red Devils. Newcastle were mm. piss poor, to say the least. It was another Newcastle final performance that we've seen mm. that they have produced. They produced it against us in 98. They produced it against United in 99. And they produced it yesterday against United again. Rashford, deflected goal. Casemiro, that, that was a great goal. I want to talk about Casemiro, bro. You get me? I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm going to give him his flowers. You get me? Like, um, yeah, best DM. <sighs> best DM. It's, 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 right, it's, hearing, it. hearing it still. I'm slightly hearing it. I can't lie. Um, because this is what Chelsea fans need. They need what? a man like that. Yeah, yeah, change yeah. the whole aspect. Goonie's so, been crying. Oh, like, I remember like when Goonie was on the pod, blood. Goonie would be like, I want a fucking DM. I want a DM. I want a DM. <laughs> oh, I want a DM. <laughs> I was like, bro, blood, like, you understand, like, do you to get a girl, do you to get a girl to slide in your DMs because you're not going to get a fucking one on the pitch, blood. You understand, like, the guy was preaching the whole summer last year, I want a DM! Man was in Baltimore, I want a DM! I'm like, bro, like, I mean, he's going to the bar, what can I get you, sir? I want a DM! You understand, like, it was crazy, bro. I swear it was mad. 
It was. I'm saying, yeah, let me get a double <laughs> Hennessy and Coke and a DM for him, blood. You get me? I got party. We're good out here, bro. You understand? Living life, blood. You get me? Big man thing, bro. But your DM, I can't lie. Um, yeah, he probably is the best, blood. You get me? He's he's. Do you know why? He's more consistent than Partey. You get me? Um, mm, I recognize I, real man. I've seen Partey. Like Partey for me, he's top three in it because it's him. Rodri's up there as well, isn't it? So Partey is top three. There's no argument for that. But now, like, I'm gonna have to be real because Casemiro's more consistent. I've seen Partey have bad games. I haven't seen Casemiro have a bad game. I can't lie. It's it's a mad thing, bro. You get me? I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a sign out there for some of you, man, as well. He's got five goals and six assists this season, and a lot of them have been clutch goals. According, I get also against Chelsea. This guy has transformed my life. Let me tell you that for free. Because we've been crying for a DM for years. Like, we're talking about since Michael Carrick and then his legs went, they gave us Morgan Schneidlin. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we were battling for it. <laughs> it was Arsenal or United and he picked United. Yeah, oh, and then we've God. been suffering with McFred for like, f- I can't lie, five years? Mm-hmm. Like, oh. because Pogba injury and everything, Pogba's never really been a DM. McFred, McFruno. Whatever you want, man. It sounds like a flipping like a frappe or something like that from McDonald's. You know what I mean? Wait, you know how funny that is? Hey, you gotta get them all in, man. You know, Bruno and Fred. Bruno. Yo, let me get a double McBruno with cheese, pause. It's a magic. <laughs> no, this this man has transformed my life and every Man United's man. I don't know how many matches he's got mad in a match, but this guy is mentality monster. I think he's won, I think with club, I think he's won out of the 17 finals. He's won 16. Yeah. Something like that. he's won Something his last like nine in a row. Yeah, yeah. So he's basically, he's only ever lost two finals in his life. And when you got a man like that coming out and trying to say this is my time, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front it. Man United's performance went all that. But when it comes to finals, I don't care about what the performance is. It's about can you get that goal in the back of the net? Do you understand? Because there was times where Newcastle were on us, but yeah, Saint Maximum bro, was causing only... Dallow problems, blood. Oh, I was surprised he's, he's, not to see Wamba Saka start. He's a better one on one defender. Yeah, I Wamba Saka. I don't know what happened to that guy, but um. Pff. That guy is serious right now, but the way the way Saint Maximum, the way he turns is so sharp. Mm-hmm. That's why he gets bare injuries because I don't know how that knee takes it. Too- <laughs> Honestly, he's too agile, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he had finished, if he had end product, we're one 0 down in that. I game. said that to Robbie. Robbie loves him off blood, and I'm like, pause. I love. I'm him. like, I bro. If off. he had end product, this guy would be the. He's like, it's like, like Triore at Wolves blood. If he had end product, yeah, yeah he would be yeah, a yeah, madman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be he's a madman. Ninety nine. He's, he's probably, I can't lie, I think, other than Messi, obviously, I think mm-hmm. he's probably the best dribbler ever, like, yeah, yeah. right now, currently, currently. Because I don't know a man that can keep and retain the ball, but what mm-hmm. he does lack is his passing yeah. is what led to one of, uh, what led to a lot of our breaks. Mm-hmm. And also, he can't track a man for that long. That's yeah. why I think when Wambi came on, it was long day. He didn't even want to go try to go past him. Wamba Saka was doing Spider-Man scoop turns, just like Zaha said. The only person you don't want to come up against is Wamba Saka with the scoops. But then Casemiro held it down in the middle. And he's just a rock. And I have nothing but praise and appreciation for a man like that because it makes everyone else jealous for wanting a man like that. Because it's just, I don't know how we're going because when we get laughed at 55 million going on 60 million. I didn't laugh. Like, like that man was saying, oh, he's, he's way past it. He's coming for a holiday. This guy didn't come for no holiday, man. He came to win. And I think he wants it more of it. He wants more trophies this season. And as long as he's on the pitch, there's, there's, there's no reason to not doubt that we're not really going to concede in a game too tough. Or you might pop up with a clutch moment, or you might gear up these guys to go forward and not give up in a game. It's just things like that that you just miss, and it's just it's crazy that there's not a lot of players like him left in 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 the world of football at his current. You know, he's from a oh, different generation. Level. He's from like the, the Vieira generation. He's got that mentality. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just that many of them don't come around. The fact that we got him, it's you're looking at that like a still now. You're mm-hmm. looking at that, bro. That 55, 16, that's a still. Lissandro Martin, that's 45 million, is looking like a still. You know what I mean? Now he's probably worth 100 million. Casimir 31 right now is probably looking like a 100 million pound player. Your manager you know I mean? as well. The the scumbags down the road turned him down. Ten Hag has come out and said Can that. you imagine he that? He failed, the interview. He, he failed the interview. I'm like, what? Yeah. Really? This, like, guy, this guy doesn't talk about anything but good. Yeah. You know like, what I mean? Like, how can you throw an interview? 
He doesn't like. Tottenham, aura though, he's got the aura though. Tottenham doing what they do best, blood bottle in it. You yeah, get me? Man, they even like, had ten like, log in the bag. Eric Ten Quad, man, he's on bits this season. You know what I mean? That. So stop, do, can stop gonna, doing that. Allow, I, I, allow, allow it. Allow it. Marvin's more realistic than yours right now. Like what you do keep you down in eight places. Quads. You're battling with Aston Villa and Fulham, fam. Young allow young it. Don't talk to me. How can you no, say I, I, excuse me? Excuse me. What's the Go no, talk. No, go no, talk no, to no, Fulham no, and Brighton and them, man. You know what I mean? Respectfully, Mons. This is about Man United. This, don't try and make it about you because Liverpool, you're not the main character no more, yeah? All right? You've, already, you've just been second fiddle to Man City for years. You man ain't even, that man ain't even Robin. That man are the penguin. You're one of the henchmen. Mm. Stop the Eggman things. But anyways... Are you ready to talk about Tommy for years? Anyways, well, I'm trying, to, I'm, trying to pray, I'm trying to praise my manager and, and my team. Thank you very much, Mons. Um, <laughs> while you are in motion, you know, so like, where's me. emotion, all me. that. That's all Raven days, you get me? It's not about anyways, me. It's not about me. It's not, it's not about you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, I've got nothing but praise for my team, bro. And when that first goal went in, we all knew it was over. It was yeah, over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Facts. And you know what's mad? Karius actually had a decent game. He did. Not the second, many, no goalkeeper. I think Pope sells us. I, I think no, no keeper saves the Casemiro one. But the second one, I think Pope saves it because he was going down too early like Mia Khalifa, blood. He was on his way down from time, bro. <laughs> you get me? He was on his way down that slide, blood. You get me? Having the time of his life, bro. You understand? Pope, he's more, he's bigger as well. Pause. He would have, you understand, made it more of mm. uh, of an effort for Rashford. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, Nick Poe, I think he could have, but it's just that they didn't, uh, they didn't threaten me. Like, nah. I, think Dan, I think Dan Byrne had a header that went wide, which mm. they could have scored, I think. I can't remember another one. Did De Gea make a mad save at any point? I think he hit a bar. He tipped onto the bar, De Gea. Yeah. Bruno Gomerich header. But well, we all knew Bruno Gomez was going to get tired because this is his first game in a few matches. Mm -hmm. We all knew St. Maximum can't last 90 minutes. As soon as they came off, the cheers in Manchester. I was in Manchester for it yesterday, yeah? The cheers were crazy. We, uh, then it's, a, it's like, yeah, we sealed the deal. They brought on Joe Willock and that. We're like, what? Mm -hmm. Joe Willock? Nah, surely not. But that's what they got. That's it, it, like recognised rule. They won a Trafalgar Square Cup. You know, Kendall and them. Like, Kendall, I'm not a true fan because I wasn't at the game, apparently. You know, even though I go to all games at Man United pretty much. You know, but I'm not a true fan, though. If you don't go to the final, you're not a true fan. Um, what if you can't yeah, get a man, ticket? Just, that's what because it was. You in 20, because in 2015, I couldn't get a ticket for the FA Cup final. And I signed fan, up to... Um, I, no, no, no. I signed up to a catering company, got in, hid until... Um, because the catering company had to go there at 10 a.m. So I hid what? until... Yep, I hid until 1 p.m., Came out with my Arsenal top and watched the game for free. And I got paid. But yeah, carry on. <laughs> yeah. Don't play with me, oh. blood. Don't yeah, play with me, like blood. Play, bro. Oh, Don't play with me, blood. I, I, you're giving... I, I can't score. lie. Boy. I'm taking an idea. Don't hey, play with me, blood. I'm a fake fan, innit? I'm a fake fan, innit? I'm a fake fan, innit? These motherfuckers, No, I'm I'm pretty sure... I know. Rate Kendall, man. She's... I'm just... I'm just getting. Nah, I think I Kendall, man. Really, I see, I, I see, I see. She. Had yeah, yeah. Kendall on is. Fan. I know she. Any anyone would be emotional in it over their team losing, and then you can. Yeah, of course. She's rattled, and, and be, and be she proud of Wembley your... since '99, bro. Was she even like? Was she? She was probably five in '99, blood. You know what? The, you know what the maddest thing is. So they were at final in '99. Guess who they lost to? United two 0 yeah. and, and guess what the score? Oh, there we go. I remember because it was the treble. You pussy. I was involved, bro. I was involved, blood. Dickhead, you. But yeah, carry on, blood. Nah, man, I big up Kendall every time. Yeah, man. yeah, real talk. Big up her I wanted to bite yeah, just a little bro. bit more in it. Like, I'm pretty sure she'll watch this and be like, what the fuck, Cass? You know what I mean? You're fucking dick in the piss, lad. Obviously, she, obviously her voice ain't <laughs> Hawaii, the lads. Hawaii, <laughs> fucking yeah, back up to Newcastle. Apologies, on the, apologies on the deepness of the voice. Pause, you get me? And I, it's probably a bit of it. I can do the high pitch Liverpool. I, I, can't, oh. do the, I can't do the high pitch, Jordy. Yeah. It has to be down, like, the Newcastle. No. Hey, Mons, you're the actor. You should be good at that. I like you that, get man. paid for this uh, shit, blood. Uh, Fuck uh, you, me. Get it? Uh, uh, you, man job, blood. you man are digging in that. Don't involve me. Don't involve me. <laughs> what do you mean, bro? We're not digging that now. Nah, nah, we're all right, blood. This ain't no male thing. So I'll bust case on this one. You get me? You man are safe, blood. You man are safe, blood. Don't worry, yeah. blood. But, Ka but Cass, how you feeling for the... Um, for the rest of the season, any other trophies on your? No, I'm good because mind? you know what it is. Yeah, we we was here with Hussam in it the other week, yeah, yeah. It, and he was saying the, the downfall in it. And I always say, what about the downfall? What about the downfall? There's no point in keep repeating it. It's kind of getting boring now. But it's like this Feb in February, we've actually the, 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 we've had eight games. Yeah, 
every game, we're the only team that's been playing every few days since January, yeah? Mm. But in, in, in Feb, we've got one draw and seven wins, including that final. And then we're going to go to Liverpool. We've got West Ham next. Luckily, they still got David Moyes. And I know what my manager's going to be like, because I, I get it. Some players need rest. Rashford, Bately needs rest. Bately. Um, and then obviously, got that, we've got to focus on, on Sunday. But against West Ham, I want it again. Like, we just, I just, that, that team just tastes success. And the Carabao Cup, like most managers, go on to win it, like Pep Guardiola did. And then that's their their thing to go on to go, um, obviously, carry on and build off of that and go win more trophies. Most teams do that. Um, what was Jurgen uh, Klopp's uh, first trophy? Uh, Carabao. Correct me if I'm wrong. Carabao? Champs. 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 No, it was Champs. Champs. Was it the Champs? Yeah, it was the, when they beat Tottenham. Champs. Big up yourself, Mark. From... Yeah, man, it took him a few years, but you always need that something that that stepping stone. Obviously, Champions League's a, a big feat because obviously, like, like two cool won Champions League and went down in it. Mm. But Di Matteo won Champions League Di and Mateo, went down. Yeah. <clears throat> but the Carabao Cups is in domestic league is just a way forward for me, and it's just like how do you build off this? And that's not the only trophy I want to win this season. The next one I've got eyes on is really is Europa League because I think FA Cup's too far off in it because I think it's only fifth round and we don't know who you're going to get next, next, next. I'm kind of set on stone. On the Europa League, we just mm. beat Barcelona. I don't care who we get next. And obviously, I know it's Real Betis, and they're not really great this season. They 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 leak goals for fun. And if anything that we like is teams that do that. So I, I'm I'm a, I'm I feel great, man. Honestly, I feel like on top of the world, you could say, in it, because it's like this time last year we were screaming Ragnik out and like Ragnik this um, this player shouldn't be here. I was one of the guys that said Rashford looks like he's just done. Like, he's got nothing left. wan Saka winning him out. Look at him now. You know what I mean? He's looking potentially like, on form, one of the better right-backs in the league. Not saying he's the best, one of the better right-backs in the league. Because you can't get a man that does what wan Saka does. Because it's mad. Defensively, it's crazy. But And he's not even that. It's just a, it's just a way to, I can give you different players and say what Eric Ten Hag's done for them and what they're doing better. And that's, and that's the best thing. Every player's got their role. Whether Who's he most not, improved? You know what? Dare I say Wan Bissaka, bro? Yeah. Dare I say Wan Bissaka? more than Rashford? Yeah. Yeah. Rashford you know was absolute Rashford... shit last year, blood. You might have called it for his neck. No, it's eight. You know, telling him to go feed the kids. But Rash... Rashford's had years where he scored thirteen Premier League goals, seventeen Premier League goals, uh, over twenty plus in a couple of se- in a couple of them seasons. We all know he had a Billy, but with Wan Bissaka, we all knew about him defensively. It's like, what can you do with your overall game? Mm. So really and truly, Rashford's had that ability in him. It's just that we don't know what you're going to get out of him. Obviously, this season he's. He's gone and done this madness that no one's expected. I think he's on like 36 GA at the moment or something like that in total. Something mad. But for me, it's Wambasaka. And even little parts of Fred, man. Because Fred's a big game player, but no one wants to put respect on him. And it kind of annoys me. Because I know Fred isn't the greatest player in the world, isn't it? But when it cut, but he's not Fred last year. Everyone wants to run. Oh, but Fred's like this. I get it. In the smaller games, he's not great. But the bigger games, Fred, Fred's a G fam. Mm. Like... He's he's like, big up him, man. Top three big game players in a in a team alongside Cassie and and probably maybe a Ran and Cassie and even or Rashford even. So he's he's up there for me, man. Not even more to say on that team. I'll be real. Val Vaghorst has got more trophies than Harry Kane. That's what we're gonna end it on. <laughs> Vaghorst has more trophies than Harry fucking Blaine blood. You fucking prick blood. Yeah, put that in your pipe and smoke it. You crackhead looking mug. We're gonna go through the rest of the fixtures. Just fly through the results real quick. Fulham one, Wolves one. Sariba getting his first, or um, Sarabia, I think that's how you pronounce it, getting his first goal for Wolves. Lovely finish. Solomon um, getting a goal for Fulham. The first of, um, Israeli player since Ronnie Rosenthal to score three in a row. Um, so big up his damn self. West Ham four, Forest nil. Forest have a terrible away record. I could see this coming. Pause. Danny Ings getting two goals. Looking like a fantastic signing for um, West Ham. Looking like he's going to keep them up. Declan Rice, my brother. Big up Dex every time. What a finish, bro. Big up your damn self, broski. Another great performance. Hopefully see you at the Emirates next season on a weekly basis. Um, Leeds 1, Southampton 0. Junior Furpo getting his first ever goal for Leeds. Southampton in big, big trouble. Bournemouth 1, Man City 4. Alvarez... Harlan, Folan, and um, a Mepham own goal. Obviously, that was a shot from Alvarez. Mm-hmm. Harlan getting his usual tapping goal. And yeah, that's all the fixtures from this weekend. Midweek, I got a preview with my brother, 
Cam. So, Jets, let's get into that one right now. All right. It's time to get into that Everton preview. You get me? Obviously, as you lot can see, we have an Evertonian. We have a blue. You get me? We, we, we've had reds on the channel. You understand? I'm very cool with a lot of reds. But truth is branching out. You get me? I'm trying to get cool with the blue side as well. So it's only right we bring on my brother Cams, who does a lot of great work for his YouTube channel, which is actually called The Mighty Blues. Um, big up your damn self, bro. We appreciate you coming on. Welcome to Troops TV. Welcome to Back Again. Welcome to the Danger Zone. You get me? You think you're in the Danger Zone? Now you're in the Danger Zone, blood. You get me? But big up your damn self. We appreciate you coming on. How you feeling, bro? Um, I'm not too bad, other than the obvious you know, second relegation zone on the bounce. And, you know, I'm I'm pretty good. I mean, I wasn't uh, I wasn't really planning on being in another danger zone after spending the last 18 months in one, but here we are. Um, I suppose I'll just have to take it in my stride like the uh, the last 12 months. But no, I'm not too bad, mate. I'm not too bad. Obviously, not particularly looking forward to Wednesday night, but I'm sure we'll get into that. Before we get into um, Wednesday night, I saw you put out a tweet on your um, Twitter account. And today is the seventh and uh, seventh anniversary of um, Farhad Masui becoming the um, permanent owner of Everton Football Club, and you put out some cold facts that when I saw it, my head spun, bro. Like I'm, I'm very, I'm very vocal against my owners. You get me? When shit's going left, I'm the one that's trying to make it go right. You get me? And what you lot have been through is is a catastrophe. To say the least, fam. You get me? On off the pitch. Um, kept on a chairman who has failed over two decades. Is that Bill Kenwright? It is, yeah. Um, appointed eight permanent managers, appointed three directors of football, spent 40 plus million hiring and firing them, had nine board registrations, have the most unqualified board in the Premier League, have the smallest board in the Premier League have one of the highest paid boards in the league who have paid themselves over 16 million for failure over... He oh, fucking hell, blood. Spent over 800 million in wages, have a 96% turnover in wages, spent over 500 million on players. Now, that's just off the pitch. That's, that's, that's crazy. And then on the pitch, zero trophies, two relegation battles currently in one, Average league position finish is 10th. One European qualification and one FA Cup semi-final loss. Um, what the hell is going on up there, blood? I wish I had the answers, mate. If I had the answers, I'd be a, a very, very rich man. And, you know, I'm sure yourself as an Arsenal fan knew that Farhad Mashiri had previous connections with Arsenal. And when he came into the football club, there was, of course, a lot of excitement. You know, the, the, the tenure of... Bill Kenwright being the chairman and the owner was, you know, needed to come to an end. Obviously, seven years later, it still hasn't. But, you know, when Farhad Mashiri come in, we all thought, right, a fresh start, a new beginning. Hopefully, we can move Bill Kenwright on now, thank him for his time. But, you know, understand that it hasn't been good enough and, you know, go fresh with, with somebody who, let's not forget at that time as well, seven years ago, the money that Farhad Mashiri was proposing to bring in with Ever to Everton was, was some that you would, you know, maybe think, oh, potentially we could do what, you know, I remember sitting here saying maybe we could do what Manchester City did in the early 2010s, where we could go and bring in some real talented players and then, you know, move forward. And, and Farad Mashiri had a, a really good basis to start with. We'd had 10 years of uh, David Moyes, in which, OK, we weren't a success in the, the, in the sense of winning trophies, but we were stable. We were fighting for Europe. We were never in any doubt of relegation. We had good, talented players there. And there was often years under David Moyes where myself and other fans would say, we're a... A, you know, a 15, 20 goal a season striker away here from being a really competitive team. So the foundations were there and, you know, for Farhad Mashiri to come in and pick up on. But he's come into the football club and, you know, I, I mean, to say disaster over the last seven years would be a massive understatement. He's completely, you know, ruined it from top to bottom through various different means, a lack of any real communication and, in my opinion, care for the football club or the fans, uh, a lack of football knowledge. Uh, as well and considering you know you've just read out some of the figures there the financial figures this man is somebody who earns all of his money being a uh, you know a, a money man he was somebody that knew about 
finances and, and, and you know, how to make money and how to move money. And he's come into Everton Football Club. We've spent £600 million pounds on players, um, you know, hundreds of millions of pounds on board members and staff members that have come and gone and managers coming in and then sacking them. We've gone from, you know, un- up-and-coming young managers like Frank Lampard, Marco Silva to, you know, potentially the best manager to have ever lived in Carlo Ancelotti and every single one of them has failed and there's only one constant and that's those people at the top and you know a lot of Everton fans and rightly so are, are you know are, are aiming their sort of feelings towards Bill Kenwright and Denise Barifax and Dale at the moment and I'm completely behind that I agree with that you know a couple of weeks ago as I'm sure you will have seen before the game against Southampton the Everton board decided to release a statement a couple of hours before to say that they felt like they were under threat and they wouldn't be attending the game for a supposed situation that happened two weeks earlier. Now, the situation that they said had happened would have actually been a criminal offence and had it actually had had happened, you would have expected to have heard about it the day it happened and not two weeks later on the eve of what was That's what I was just going to say. Season. Did it actually happen or are they just chatting out their ass and we, trying we to don't deflect know. It, heat and put heat onto you? That, and that's exactly it. And and listen, don't get me wrong. I think the relationship between the board and, and the fans was pretty much uh, unfixable before that. But, you know, as soon as that statement was put out, it, it was pretty clear that this is done now. You know, that'll never be able to re- be rebuilt again. And as you said, did it actually happen? We don't know. We still haven't heard anything about it. And it's almost like it's been, you know, put under the carpet and said, oh, don't worry about that. We'll move on from that. The police were contacted. The police said they did nothing. So, you know, again, we don't know, but it almost created this sort of civil war between the board and the fans and the board almost saying, well, it's us against you now. And the fans saying, well, that's fine because it's our football club and we don't want you here. And, you know, we know they haven't been back since, certainly not at Goodison Park, been to a couple of away games to show their faces, etc. But no, mate, it's, it's been what I can only describe as, as an absolute disaster. And whilst, you know, Bill Kenwright is a big issue and, and shouldn't be here, same with Denise Barrett Baxendale, Ultimately, the book stops at the owner and he's the, he's the one that makes the decisions. Even recently, he came out in January and said, you know, we need to strengthen. We will get a striker. We'll have a better second half of the season. You know, we didn't get a striker. We were in a relegation battle last season. We finished 16th uh, and only solidified our Premier League status on the penultimate game of the season. Mm-hmm. And what we did in the summer was lost the striker that scored 10 goals in that season and replaced them with two players who had scored four between them or something like that. So... It's just been a disaster, mate. And as I said, for me now, his time is done. Nothing will change at this football club until those board members and this owner have moved on. Um, but whether or not that will happen, we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, um, you've appointed Sean Dyche as the new man in. Um, two wins, two defeats. Do you think it will be different under him because of his style of play? You've, it's, 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 it's a complete different style of play to what you kind of link Everton with. You lot normally play that fast, quick football. This is more a bit direct. Do you think things? Do you think they'll support him? Because he's Premier League proven. Like You've kind of taken a risk in previous years apart from an Angelotti. Do you think they'll actually be like, yeah. all right, cool. Now we're going to... Yeah, I, I think... I, I... I think definitely that the fans will get behind them. I think that was one thing that Frank Lampard really had going for him at the back end of last season was we knew the position we were in, we knew the situation we were in, but because Frank was appointed at the back end of January, it was almost like, well, it's not his fault because he's not been here through all of this, so let's get behind him, let's get behind the players, let's get behind the team. And that was a massive uh, help in, in keeping us up. And I think similar will happen with Sean Dice. The style of football for me... I'm at this point now with Everton where I don't really care how we play football. I don't really care if we put 11 men behind the ball every single week. And it's absolutely atrocious to watch as long as we get results. And obviously, we got a massive win against you guys a couple of weeks ago at Goodison, which you know was a, was a really impressive performance. And we've done similar with Leeds. But we are going to have games like Aston Villa where because of the distinct lack of quality up front, we maybe don't take our chances or we don't create you know the, the chances that we should be creating. Um Sean Dyche, for me, has, has got absolutely no responsibility in what's going on at Everton Football Club. Sean Dyche's job is to come in and try and save this football club from relegation. And, and if he does it, great. If he doesn't do it, I don't think many people will put the blame on him. Um, but, you know, I, I, as I've said, for me, it is a different style of football. And, you know, it, it's funny because I remember when we appointed Sam Allardyce a few years ago. And again, we, were, we weren't in a relegation battle, but we were sort of flirting around that area. Yeah, yeah. We brought Allardyce in and, 
the fans were really, really frustrated, me included, because nobody wanted to go and sit at Goodison, especially, you know, against uh, Aston Villa the other day. It was absolutely freezing, sat there for two and a half hours, shivering to watch, mm. you know, an Everton team sit back and not really have much possession. Whereas now, I think the, the, the opinion's completely changed. It's almost just like we've got to do what we, we do, can do to get results. And if that's sit back for 90 minutes, that's sit back for 90 minutes. We, we've seen, even against you guys, and, and over the last three weeks, this team is just absolutely drained of any quality going forward. We have absolutely nothing going forward. We missed a couple of big chances against you guys. We missed a couple of big chances against Leeds. And you're not always going to score a goal from a corner. Seamus Coleman isn't always going to put one in from 40 yards where you're sitting thinking, how's he done that? So, you know, when you miss those those easy chances or those chances you would say, you know, are the ones you should be taking, sometimes they'll come back and bite you. And, and that's what happened against Villa. Um, but that's ultimately not down to Sean Dyche. You know, Sean Dyche has got to work with these players and try and fill these players with as much confidence as possible. But, you know, they are what they are. And as I said, for me, the book stops at the, at the board and the people in charge. You can't lose somebody as important as Richarlison was to Everton and put all your hopes on Dominic Calvert-Lewin, who has played five games of football in the last two years and we know has got massive injury problems. You know, I heard a couple of Blues, and I don't I don't usually go with other Blues or have a go with other Blues because everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but I heard a couple of Blues saying the other day, you know, if we'd have had Dominic Calvert-Lewin against Villa, we'd have won that game. But we're not talking about a Dominic Calvert-Lewin who was, has been fifth for the, the whole season, out for that game, and then he'll be fit on Wednesday. We're talking about a lad who we don't know whether he'll retain at all this season. So, uh, yeah, in terms of Dice, I think everyone will get behind him. I think everyone will back him. I think he is the best man for the job. At this current moment, Bielsa would have been a disaster because our players can't run. They're not fit enough to run. And it'll take too long to get his style of philosophy over to them. It's he's, the amount of shit he's feeding them, bro. It's like a, it's like you're going back to school. With Dyche, it's just, yeah. yo, back to the basics. Yeah, And absolutely. he's got players I mean, there that have played under him as well. Tarkovsky's, um, McNeil. Um, what's, what's the other one? Um, Michael Keane. Michael Keane. Michael Keane. There's a, Michael there's Keane, a couple yeah. of them up there. Yeah, yeah and, and that's... I think that's exactly what Everton have needed is, is a manager that's going to come in and take everything back to the basics because these fo- these players, and again, without trying to sound like I'm going at them individually, but th- there's not an awful lot of star quality or quality at all in there. So if we can get them stripped right back down to the very basic of football and, and, and win some games and pick up some points doing that, then, then that's what we've got to do. Ultimately, Bielsa, they was talking, he wanted to come in and take over the under-23s for six months and then take over. It would have just been, as much as it would have been a long-term plan, and maybe if we weren't in a relegation zone, you'd have looked and gone, well, that's a little bit of a sensible idea for the position we're in now. It would have been an absolute disaster. And, you know, again, the hope is Dice can come in and, and by doing that, by sipping it down to the basics, by getting everybody just doing the simple, you know, elements of football, which for Premier League footballers on the money these people are earning, they should be able to do. The hope is we'll be able to pick up more one nil wins at home and, you know, and, and and maybe get the points that way. I mean, I watched Leeds the other day when they played Everton and they were absolutely atrocious and, and we're not much better. But the hope is that, you know, that again, I can't believe I'm sitting here as an Evertonian saying the hope is that come the end of the season, there's three worse teams than Everton because it's just, it's, a, it's an absolute disgrace. So, what's the plan for the Arsenal game? Is it, are you actually going in there trying to get something? Because your home form's been good. The away form's been a bit iffy. Deitch, he, he normally, he performs well against Arsenal at home, but away, we normally, we normally slap him, I can't lie. Last year, you came Emirates. There was nothing to play for on both sides. We've bottled top four. You um, um, solidified staying in the Premier League. 5-1 victory. Nothing, like, literally, it was a bullshit game, bro. What's the plan this time? Because last time you came for a party. Is there going to be protests as well? Because with the seven-year anniversary, would there be any banners coming out in the Emirates? Because I'm going to be at the Emirates. So, yeah, me, I'm going to be vlogging. Let, like, give me the drop. Like, so I just be like, I have not seen the man there. there. <laughs> you get me? <laughs> Listen, mate, the, the plan for me is to get as drunk as possible on that coach on the way up. So I don't really remember much of the game, if I'm being honest. Um in terms of protests, I'm not I'm not sure. I know obviously a lot of the protests recently have been before the home games, walking up to yeah. the game and the yeah. one before Villa was aimed at, at young people taking part of it because the whole idea was if you tolerate it, your kids will have to. So it was all the young uh, kids, which was which was yeah. great. I don't know for sure. I can't sit here and say they will be. I'm sure there will be anti board chance and rightly so. Um in terms of the game plan, listen, mate, you've got it spot on. Everton are horrific at the Emirates and have been horrific 
for years, even before being in a relegation battle or before mm-hmm. being in the position we were in. We never got, I think we've won once in my recent memory and it was that season during COVID that I'm not even completely yep. convinced was, was a reality, to be honest. Um, so I suppose that, that you know, as, as a blue looking at it, the plan for me would be to try and stick everybody behind the ball and, and play for a point. But again, we're not even really good enough to be doing that, especially not against the top teams. Arsenal have had an absolutely unbelievable season this season. Bit of a you know a, a blip a couple of weeks ago, but bounced back with two big wins on the bounce. So I can't sit here confidently and say, if we stick everyone behind the ball and defend, we should be OK, because that just invites teams on and teams with confidence, with quality up front, as Arsenal have got. You know, it might take them 20 shots to score. It might take them 25, but the odds are they will get one in that game. And, you know, with Everton at the moment, it's the same last weekend. The minute a team gets one, it's almost like, well, we know we're not going to score two. So how do we get back into this game? Um, I don't think Everton are going to go and try and attack. I don't think Everton are going to go and try and get at Arsenal. I do think it will be a very it's going to be a low block thing, isn't it? It will be a low block. I think it will be five at the back. I think you might see Ben Goffrey in there, a fullback, to just have a little bit more backup pace. You'll probably see Yeri Meenan in there next to Tarkovsky and Cody as well. Um, listen, I'd be lying to you, mate, if I was saying I can't wait for it. I'm looking forward to it. As I said, I'm looking forward to the seven hours on the coach before and the seven hours on the coach after it, the game in between. I, I'm not too I'm not too excited about but. Ultimately, you know, when Dice come in, and I remember talking about when Dice come in and we spoke about the Arsenal and Liverpool game, the Arsenal game at Goodison, and we said these two are just, they're sort of there, you know, we can get anything out of either of them, great. Bit of but a then free we focus hit. on, bit of a free hit, yeah, you focus on your Leeds, your Villas, your, you know, we play Forest on Sunday, and those that's games against teams one. that we could, that's a massive game, massive game. Arsenal away, I think falls into that category of we'll go. We'll see what happens, and if not, we we, won't, we probably if we lose, we probably won't. Well, we definitely won't be too disheartened because there's no other expectation. And then we focus on Forest. But having said that, mate, Everton have picked up you know seven points over the last four months since October, and three of them have come against Arsenal at Goodison, and one come against Manchester City at, at the Etihad. So, it you know it's not it's not beyond Everton to go away to Arsenal and 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 get something. But and to it's be a high fair. Expectation. When you went to Anfield, before they got that goal, you lot was looking all right. It was unlucky the way the transition happened from you lot hitting the post and then flying up the other end and whatnot. Yeah. So, especially from set pieces, you will be a big, big threat. Yeah, well, that, and that's typical of Everton. I mean, we hadn't, we hadn't picked up a single point since October and I was in Tenerife watching us play Manchester City at the Etihad and I remember sitting there thinking, this is going to be an absolute bloodbath, this, and, and we, we got a point out of it. I don't know how. I still don't know how, but we got a point out of it. So, it wouldn't, it, you know, it wouldn't be beyond the realms of possibility. I think defensively, we're going to have to be absolutely spot on, and we haven't been recently defensively against Villa. We were poor. We were poor in 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 areas against um, Liverpool as well. I know, obviously, the goal first goal was a little bit unlucky, but again, we, we got we got it on the counter attack twice. Um, but the hope is that we can sit back. Uh, I, I think the big the big thing for me uh, on Wednesday is. If we do get an opportunity, and, and they will be few and far between because of how this game will pan out, in my opinion. But if we do get an opportunity, we can't be affording to have Abdoulaye Decore mess about with it on the six-yard box or Dwight McNeil terrified to hit it on his right foot. We've just got to take these chances. And the big thing I've noticed with Everton recently is these players are terrified to shoot. I mean, Dwight McNeil had the ball at his feet in the six-yard box against Villa and he didn't shoot. And I was sitting mm. there after the game thinking, what forward has the ball in that area? And his first thought isn't, I'm having a go at goal here. That should be every mm. forward's first thought because you you should be thinking, I can get, I can score a goal. Um, so that's another big thing for me is if we do get an opportunity because they'll be few and far between, we've, we've got to do better than we have been doing recently because it's been really poor. You got a prediction for me before I let you go? Uh, um. I'll never predict Everton losing because... Yeah, you're like I me. I, 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 if I think we're going to lose, I say draw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, I say that's, draw, that's exactly what I'm going to do. But all yeah, my gang, exactly they're like, yeah, troops, yeah, you know, you, you know we're going to lose. I'm like, now we're going to draw, yeah. <laughs> deep, deep down, I'll have my feelings, but, I, 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 you know, I, I can't sit here and say I, I think Everton will lose. I, do you know what? I will... If, if Everton get anything out of this game, I think it will be nil-nil. I think it'll be sit back. I think we'll defend unbelievably... And I think it would probably rely on Arsenal being a little bit lacklustre in the game as well. But as I said, mate, I can't sit here and predict Everton lose. So I'm going to go goalless draw, nil nil. I'm going to go three one. I think you'll get a goal. Yeah, I, I, you, you lot will probably go up ahead first, you know, and then, then, then we'll wake up. Yeah, because the way we've been playing I, I, recently, it's like we need a little wake up call. The, the last of the game, 
We looked a lot better taking out Nketiah, putting Trossard into that front line. The fluidity looks good again, but it's it's at set pieces. We're just we're 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 a bit susceptible right now. Like earlier in the season, I was confident, like everything, but especially because it's Sean Dyche, like this brother's gonna be on the training ground banging drills from nine o'clock till three p.m. Like yo, in the box, boom, Tarkovsky, boom. Ben, all these man, like, yo, he's going to pull out all these Burnley tactics to come at the Emirates, bro. That's why I'm like, I can see you, man, getting a goal still. But I do think that we will. I think that we've hit form now. Again, I think we're going to go on a little another, a little, um, another run. I think Trossard as well coming in. That's going to light up the place. So, and, and obviously, hey, listen, if he... we win, we go five clear. So, I think that incentive as well is there as well. But what were you going to say? I was just going to say he's got a good record against the Arteta as well. He... Uh... Yeah. He, he likes the game against Arteta, but no, look, it's it's it will be immensely difficult for Everton to get anything out of this game. And uh, obviously, this the, when Dice first come in, this game hadn't been announced, so it was. I remember looking at after Liverpool, and it was like well, we've got five very you know games there that we can get points out of, and then this one was sort of thrown into the mm-hmm. the mix. So. Listen, we'll see what happens. It's a free hit. If Everton get anything, then I'll be made up. If we don't, then I'll be at Forest on Sunday expecting another result. So, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> Big up my brother Cam for coming on. You get me. Well, I, we, let me we're going to talk in the DMs, bro. I'm at the game, so hopefully we can try and link up maybe before. Maybe before, yeah, because definitely. obviously after you're going to have to get... You're gonna have, I know after, I'm, I, I, you're going gonna to have to get straight on the coach. So, hopefully before we'll try and link up. But all the best on your... On your bender, you get me, because it's every seven-hour journey. You're, oh, blood, you get me. Eight o'clock kickoff, you're going to be on the bender from 10 a.m., mate. I know them ones, bro. You understand? Of course. Right. Even before that, even before that, mate, the minute I wake up, I need to not remember this. That's what I'm saying. Football, that's, so. putting, that's putting Grey Goose in his cornflakes. It's a mad thing. But, <laughs> but big up your dumb self, bro, you get me. Make sure you lot subscribe to his channel. Link is in the description below. Let's get back into the podcast, people. Big up cams, you get me. Appreciate coming on the show. Man them, um, let me get your predictions for the Arsenal Everton game where we will, I repeat, we will, I repeat, we will go five points clear. My prediction is 3 1, by the way. Same I'm line. I'm going 2 0. 2 0 Arsenal. Arsenal. Still two. be a bit tight with them defensively. I'm going to say 2 0. Arsenal? Is this against Everton? Is this against Everton? Emirates, though. Um, nah, bro. 4-0. They're getting whacked. Uh, no, they're getting whacked. I can't lie. The, the return of Jesus, right? There's rumours. Big, big like, rumours. Like, even like a little camera, I think they're getting whacked up on Emirates. I think they... You know what it is? Arsenal are due a performance at the Emirates and I think they owe it this season to their fans currently for the way they're going. And mm-hmm. I just think that Everton... It's one goal. It turns to two goals. turns to three goals. And then that's it, man. Capitulation FC, inshallah, blood. Mont, Wolves come to your ground. Um, I think this is the fourth meeting between yeah. you lot this season. Um, fourth, yeah. I mean, yeah, fourth in it because two in the yeah, yeah because two in the cup, one in the yeah. league, second one. Um, How are you feeling for this one? I mean, you got lucky last time they came out to Anfield in the cup. You that yeah. you need a win, bro. You need a fucking win in this yeah, one. If you don't win this one, it's top four. If you don't win this game, it's top four officially gone. Yeah, because obviously March Madness, I think that's Chelsea, City, and someone else. It's Chelsea, City. I don't know if you've seen mm-hmm. a run in, in March. Or is United. You got us in April, I know that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's United. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Right, so if you don't win this game, you got. <laughs> Man <laughs> said, ooh. <laughs> 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 He's shot. Hey, 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 yo. Hey, yo, I won. I once was it a bit like this. Was it a bit like this? Yeah. I got a snap for the I know my news the next game, then I see Madrid, Fulham, City, oh, shit. Chelsea, Arsenal. Oh like, shit. <laughs> hey, hey, sick. you got three so, yeah. points against us. Don't worry, we got you. Hey, I feel sick. So yeah, you see that March? Long day. Long day, so um, we have to win this game. Must win. I'm gonna say as a prediction. I'm thinking we defensively we kept three clean, three straight clean sheets. So I'm probably gonna say one nil Liverpool. Staggering one nil. Lou, you got a shot goal. Uh, mm. Um, give me that one. 
I, I might go ahead. I might go outside the box and say another nil nil. It's another dead nil nil. Two dead teams. Hey, watch real. No watch, 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 uh, watch yourself. You in the trenches. Watch yourself. You in the trenches. Uh, yeah, yeah I know. We're in the trenches too. I know we ain't good, but like we're we're both not good. We're both mm-hmm. not good. I'm going to yeah, go, go with one. Nil, I'm going to go with one one. I'm going to go with 1-1. One, one. I have to say, because I like Wolves' midfield a lot. They don't they score a really lot. They have really improved under that new manager, bro. They were mm. cooking and, against Fulham. And it's that midfield is so... The, the, the man that you lot want, really, Mateus Nunes and that. And I just think there's... Now there's no Darwin Nunes outlet of pace other than Salah. If Darwin Nunes was there, I would say they'd probably go on to win 2-1. And I think Nunes would be that, that guy. But you're saying he's injured, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Life, I don't know for how long I've won. I just think Nunes, have, Nunes has been for me in the, the attack, like the, 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 the guy that looks like the main threat, regardless of missing chances. He's fast, bro. Mm. Like he is fast. And I think Wolves will just do that low block, counter attack, Trey or Ray, try to get a smash and grab, whether it's a draw or whatever. And obviously, their midfield can keep them, in, uh, keep them going. With Nevers. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, me, me I'm thinking 1 1 still. I'm thinking, I think that. Um, I think that Nunes... Nah, real talk, bro. It's it's true what Cass said. If you had Nunes, then I'd probably go for the W. But but you say you ain't got that. And the way Salah's moving like a bum right now. Uh, yeah. And, and Wolves have like... Wolves have improved since their new man's gone in. Neves is bossing the midfield. Yeah, I'm going to go 1-1, blood. We got yeah, some FA Cup. Yeah, I lie. The Kings, innit? The Kings are... The King The king back, I lie. Yeah, back back where, blood? Yeah. You got, got as much back as Miley Cyrus. Um, we have some FA Cup fixtures as well this midweek. Um, West Ham, the Irons travel up to OT. Um, Cass, let me get a prediction for that, bro. And a quick lineup no. prediction. Would there be a lot of changes? Obviously, no, nah, this, this man don't do changes. Yeah, he don't yeah. do bad. He changes. said that on yeah, Sunday gonna... that he's going to rest them, no champagne, and we go again Wednesday. Yeah, two, uh, I'm going to say 2 2 0. No. Lineup for me would definitely be the only people that I would change is. Uh, no, Rashford. I think Rashford needs rest. I would say Luke Shaw could do with a game out. And I would say rest for Ren. Other than that, midfield can change. And I'll rest Fred and I'll put Sabitzer in. So about four changes, maybe maybe four changes max. Don't change it too much. And I think that should be good enough, man. Get Malassia, get Lindelof. <clears throat> yeah, Malassia, Lindelof. Sancho probably can come in and then Sabitzer. And I think that should be the team to go in and change it. I think Marcel's back on the bench as well, which is good signs because he's back in team training. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see something like that. Two no win. Because we only because you know what, Mad I'll give you man a mad stat. Since Man United have lost other than uh in the league, we score two goals minimum at Old Trafford this season alone. I'll go 3 0 United. Mont. 3 1. 3 1 United. Lou? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go 3 0 United as well. Just walk through them. Hey, some respect on my name. You know what I'm saying? Bristol yeah. City, Man City. Yeah, easy. Oh, Bristol City, Man City. Yeah. That's a 4-0. Oh, that's that's a 4-0. Four nil. Four nil. I'm saying 2-1 City. City, City. City. Uh, yeah. 3-1 Bristol City. Yeah. I say 3-1 I say City. Yeah, same. Same, um, same. Fulham Leeds. That should be a good game. 0-0. <clears throat> nil, nil. Could go either way. Yeah, one, I'm not Fulham. 2-1. Two what two one either way. Two nah, one extra either time. Either way. Oh, was extra the time? last extra round was time. the last. Yeah, the last round was the last one where you can do a replay. I think now it's straight extra time. I'll go I'll one. Go two one. Fulham. Yeah, Fulham. I'll, I'll go, go two one. Fulham. Fulham. Yeah, Fulham. I think Fulham. Um, one Fulham. No extra time. Can the Polina can play in it because now he's suspended for two games, which is yeah. out for your game as well in mm-hmm. Arsenal. So Polina can still play. <clears throat> yeah, maybe. Yeah, one nil, one nil, or two one either way. I don't know, man. These are a weird side. Mm. Sheffield United, Tottenham. Tottenham travelling up to Sheffield. Sheffield, like, they, they they got flipping. They had Wrexham last round and Wrexham were causing them all heap of problems. I don't know if that was the whole, because of what Wrexham are doing, that had something to do with it. But I think they could cause a surprise here, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm going for a, I'm going for a, I'm, I'm going for a, I'm going for a one. I'm going for a Extra two. Extra time. Yeah, I'm two two one Sheffield United extra time. Cool. Mm. I'd love that, but I'm gonna go two 0 Spurs. I think yeah. they keep the winning run going. Yeah. Sheffield United are no bums. They're second in a championship for that's a what reason. I'm saying. Like, I mean, they're doing really, really well. 
I think they'll miss a lot of season. They'll, they'll perform well, but you I can't... think they'll reflect it with goals. I'm saying 2-1, 2-1, 2-1 Spurs. You, you, know, you, you know where I'm going to get, where I'm going to probably, um, I'm, I, I think I'm right, is the fact that they don't have many midfield options in Spurs at the moment and they're going to have to play probably Skip and Hoiberg again mm-hmm. and maybe have to put Papa. See, I think Papa Saar could have a great game. Dan Juma might finally get to see maybe. Mm. I, I can only see one way. I can just see extra time, man. And I don't know who's going to win. I think penalties. Stoke, Brighton. I'm only going for the Premier League teams. Brighton 3-0. Brighton 3 Yeah, I agree with yeah. that. Yeah, Stoke are dead. Stoke Great are dead. Bro, yeah, Stoke are dead, bro. Big up, big up Kevin Campbell, son. Leicester taking on Blackburn. Blackburn had a good start, but they're kind of falling off in the championship. I'm going to go Leicester. I'm going to go Blackburn. Yeah? Uh, bro, you know what it is? It's easy to say all the Premier League teams, but when it comes to FA Cup, some men are more geared up than the others. Nah, and the next about... game, I think, is where there'll be the shock. Not that one. I think the next game, there could be a shock. A big, big, I, I, big I still shock. Think, I still think... Black, I, think I, I don't trust Leicester at all. I really don't. And I think Blackburn might have this 2-1. They don't have Madison, um, huh? No Madison. No Madison. Yeah, Leicester no. ain't that consistent either. Um, I think they trip over. I got two no Leicester. I'll go two one Leicester. I'll go two one. Hang on, two one. Yeah, two one Leicester. The game that I think they'll, the game that I think they'll be a shock. Southampton Grimsby. I'm going one 0 Grimsby. The Oliga magic Grimsby. of the cup. Oliga Grimsby in League Two, isn't it? Yeah. League um, Two, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think it's nil nil at full time. Southampton probably win it from like a scummy pen. Say one 0 Southampton. Mm, nah, Grimsby are dead food, man. I, I already know about them. One win in their last five, six, seven games. <laughs> They're down a league as well. <laughs> but the <laughs> magic of the, the magic food. of the cup, blood. That, 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 that me. I hear it. I hear it. Big I... game, Southampton Premier League away. They're gonna bring their whole fucking town up there, blood. Grimsby don't have a bad defence either. Um, but you're talking about the whole town down to Southampton. That's a big travel, you know. Bro, they'll do that, bro. It's the cup, bro. When, when are they ever going to have the chance to visit a Premier League ground? They brought I, seven games like to the bridge. They brought uh, seven games to the bridge. I think Lavia will play. Exactly. I, I, remember will play. When, um, I remember when we played... Um... Oh, what's that team, blood? Lincoln. Yeah, Lincoln. And they brought like fucking 8,000 down, bro. They had the whole clock mm. end, upper and lower. It was mental. Mm. They'll take Me- everybody. Yeah, they'll bring the whole blood. Blood, the tea lady will come, bro. You see the, you see the, you see man in there with his sheep, man in there with his, with his, with his cattle. I'm telling you, blood. You're going to see Father Jack in there. Mad thing. Mm, mm. No, I'm going to, I'm still going to say, I still think that Southampton do win this. Grinsby will give them a great game, I think. Mm. Um, but I think Southampton, when, you know what it is? It's Lavia Ward Prowse midfield. Like, it's easy. I think it'll be easy. They might rest them, the though, you know, because Premier League, blood, they're, I, fighting, I don't, they're fighting but, for their lives, bro. My man Don't might not give a fuck about this. Whereas Grimsby... Lavi is, Lavi, Lavi is a young guy and he played one game, game a week. There's no such thing as rest right now. Southampton should have this still. Yeah, Grimsby will just be happy to score. Give him a goal, something to celebrate, they'll be happy. It's true. I'm still back. I'm still back in it. You get me? Yeah, fair enough, man. I, anything can happen. I'm not... If they, What's if, wrong? It don't I'm going to go for a little cheeky. I'm going to go put a little cheeky... Little cheeky something on them, blood. See what one. You get me? Mm. But big up the man them. Yeah. Every time. You understand? Appreciate the man them's time. You know the vibe, blood. Links are in the description to all the gang's channels. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow the man them as usual. You get me? Episode 209 wrapped up like a zubi. Zaza. Big up yourself, my bro, even though you're not here, blood. Cass, Monts, Lou, Blood Lighting, you know the vibe. Jets, Vin, Matt, you don't know the vibe. And like I say at the end of every video, blood, stay safe, drop in Ketia, and wash them fucking hands, blood.